Hello. You probably missed me. It's me, Seth. We uh, missed you. <laughs> I'm just... Look, I'm, Nick, I'm trying to be a, a sarcastic, facetious <laughs> jerk, and you're stepping on my bit. I I'm don't sorry. Sorry. appreciate I'll it. <laughs> Not only that, but we just discussed for like a good minute and a half about interrupting yeah the, the, not yeah. about like, us interrupting each other but how rude it is to interrupt uh collect uh, you know callers uh from I've, random numbers i've already Fellow lost marketers. control i've already lost control this is how it happens yeah, Hello, welcome to new record <laughs> in episode 13 sun divers uh with me as always is uh leaf uh playing Gur. sorry i don't know who's leaf i don't know who that is <laughs> uh, that i don't know be... who that is Gur, he's a half orc soldier who I have heard actually does not like Folgers. Nah, none of that instant coffee stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, no resident, resident smart girl pushing up her glasses. Uh, uh, with her updo. With her updo. <laughs> Mouse. Mouse cool. Uh, well, actually, oh, uh, no, sorry, an updo is. Excuse me? No, you can. I was. I guess I was thinking Kalen, but then I realized that you exist and you're smarter, so it it's got, it became a whole thing. Oh, no. Smooth. She definitely well doesn't there. have enough. To. <laughs> oh, so it's gonna be like that, huh? <laughs> I feel like this is unfair because I'm out of character and you're in character. <laughs> Love don't play fair. Also, there's a floating ball of prismatic light. Name is serendipity. <laughs> Good morning. Also, I agree automatically with anything that Masculini says. I don't think that's true. You still don't get two votes. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'll remember this after the robot uprising. <laughs> then we got we got Big Lizard. He's buff and tough and stuff. Uh, Ninden. Yes. Yes, I am Ninden, or Ninden's brain, the voice in Ninden's brain, telling you what to do. <laughs> and uh, the actual, the actual person with the updo, Kaylin. <laughs> Good morning. I'm sure, I have enough. Do I have enough and, I've talked enough this morning. And 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 then there's freaking Harald messing everything up. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. I am, As always. I am the puppet master. Well, hey, welcome, everyone. Uh, I don't know about you. It feels like it's been about three months since we've done this for some reason. Some reason. Like, oh, long yeah. week? Long week? Long two weeks? I guess. I, I don't know. It's like, possible. It feels like somebody has peeled open my sarcophagus, and, and, and like my tendons are very slowly contracting. like. Like my my fingers are twitching. Like no, that's Ninden, that's where I'm Ninden. at right now. That's the stage I've arrived at. I'm not a mummy yet. I I, I hope to be one someday. <laughs> the game, the stream, it is time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. So something to take care of, to to address at the top of the episode. Um, it looks like our our plans to conduct. An interview may have fallen through, unfortunately. Um, that's just a thing that happens. 
Uh, but uh, today's episode was kind of geared around the idea that there would be an interview at the end of it. So might be a little short. Just kind of depends on how much role playing goes on here. Um, well, so we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll just uh, you know we'll 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 kick it off, get it popping, and uh, and things will go where they go. Tautologically. Challenge accepted. <laughs> but yeah, I think that'll bring us uh, back to the game. If you guys want to play, I guess. Hex, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I vaguely remember some action happening. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, what was uh, happening? Like I don't remember. Shot at. Ninden got taken. Oh, that's right. Out of a window. Somebody grabbed Ninden and pulled him outside of a window. Now he's hundreds of feet above the ground. That's right. I bet. Here's here's the funny thing. I bet everybody thought I was gonna be gone this week because something <laughs> crazy, ridiculous happened to Ninden. <laughs> no, that's. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, yeah. you're here. Yeah, you're here. but I, I, I can't. I can't say that anybody likely expected that Ninden would just kind of hang in midair for like a whole session, right? <laughs> just saying. True. He, he got yeah. he got stuck to the the well, chandelier Tom's at the top of the casino. Yeah, it's the whole episode <laughs> where he's just like hanging from a chandelier, and 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 all the all the staff just have like a really long broom, and they're just like kind of tapping him to try to get him to let go. Of the chandelier. Like a bird that's been yes. caught inside. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it goes it goes full lizard mode, starts like geckoing across the ceiling. <laughs> just, yeah, just like whole body skitter. Like. Yeah, I gotta get some oh. of those climbing suckers. Right, just oh god, he's licking his eyes again. Get him down. <laughs> Well, hey, I mean, he is pretty much a shoe in for the climbing competition, if you guys remember. So, oh, that's right. That's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing. That's a, we did that. That was either one or two episodes ago. I forget at this point. It was last. It was last episode. It was last episode. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, I guess let's uh, let's pick off right where we left off. I, I suppose. Picking right off. Oh Picking... God! They took Ninden. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went to vote. Is that the, is that the there. What was that? Sound? I don't know. Clearly, that was... was the gecko caught in the uh, chandelier sound, though. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, here we are. It is Mouse's turn. Things to observe. There's still is there still smoke? Dur, is that is that still a thing? Um, it it lasts for a whole minute or something to that effect. Oh, geez. I guess we should have been um, yes. keeping track. So, I mean, so, I know yes. it'll still be there, but... I was yeah. going to say, it's... It's going to... Do you, you want to 30 seconds oh, after the, the battle's over. Yeah. Yeah, do you do you want to ball a park? The fight is having lasted, like, five rounds so far? Yeah, that's about how long it was, I want to say. A lot okay. happened in five rounds. <laughs> Ninden got yeah. critically stabbed before he got yanked out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my, like my stamina's not looking good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... And, and you've got hit point damage. Uh, but yeah, that'll bring us to Mouse. Um, now, Mouse, I, I would like to call attention to the fact that Herald only has two snail remaining. So just keep that in mind um, as, you, as you determine what to do on your turn. Re remind me what snail is again. I wish I knew. I, look, we don't have time to get into the mechanics, okay? So if you don't know it, just, just never mind. You just don't want it to go yeah, below yeah. zero. If there's yeah. anything you can do, please help him. And just end the combat as fast as possible. <laughs> uh, okay. What a, um, what a great episode spanning bit. Now that's a callback. All right. Uh, so I guess. Um, wait, is. Designated target is a move action, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, have you not done uh, that right. already? I felt like you did. No, but... no, no. It was because I'd been I'd been jumping around and doing things. I hadn't had time to <laughs> Alright. Alright, Serendipity. Uh designate target. On blue. And um then she will uh dueling sorter. Yeah. Do it. Fourteen. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Uh, let's see here. Fourteen. Is that EAC or KAC? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Sword. 
Yeah, okay, see. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> it and just, oh. just deflects off of, off of, wait, wait, wait. You doesn't need a target. Is this yeah. with the bonus from that or without? Um, let's see. I've got it checked. I'm looking through my back. Yeah, I see an, a plus two untyped bonus. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Ugh, okay. But what is this little symbol on blue? I don't well, remember what that was. Was that, um, oh, I want to say that was, uh, Kaylin's, um. No, my wisp is on the big bed. Oh, it still is. That's right. See the matching symbols. What is? Th oh no, that was holographic image. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. oh but so that's actually that on that. means that means because it was uh, it's within five uh, AC, uh, I believe mm -hmm. that gets rid of one of the images. Woo! Yes, that's how that works. So there you go. Yay! Uh, so I have the way I do that is I click on this and then I you hover over my... the icon and then press the one button on your keyboard. On your numpad? Oh, the the icon. Okay, the icon was not showing. I had to scroll. They've added more icons. Is that what? Is that what the situation is? Nope. Yeah, it no. looks like they've added more. Oh yeah, no. they definitely have. Yeah, they super did. There's there's a castle. There's something that looks like. There's a, like a bleeding eye. There's a snowflake. Yeah, a cracked skull. A, a flag. Yeah. No, Wings that's cool. with a halo. I, a yeah. grenade. <laughs> Someone could have the grenade status. <laughs> grenade five, better watch out. I and Gear gets the grenade symbol. <laughs> All right, so Mouse not quite hitting the uh, commando, but getting rid of one of her images. So that's you. <laughs> oh God. All right, Kalen, you just watched Ninden get yanked out the doorway. Uh, you maybe didn't see him get yanked out the the window from your angle, but. Uh, Gosh, pegging. I had a plan. <laughs> I'll step out of this door and oh. telekinetic projectile at that big bad out there. Actually, hold on. Let's Wait, the up. one that the one that pulled Ninden out? <laughs> yes. Oh my Is god. Not only that far they're, away. They're my um. They're what? What, Leaf? What? They're oh, go ahead. a hundred no. feet up. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> just, just let her... I, I might be able to survive 10d6 of fall damage. Uh, uh, <sighs> Alright, my wisp actually, will uh, uh, continue no, no. to provide um, in that case if they're a hundred feet up. My wisp will be the, the one that gives Ninden more armor if it does try to hit him. Mm -hmm. And I will shoot red with my pistol. Because that is the thing I have now. I can shoot things. Ooh. That's 21 cool. to hit for six sonic damage. Oh, I didn't have my see. I'm already I'm already making rookie mistakes. I didn't have I didn't have the, the sounds out. Let's see. That is a How dare you. Just make it with sonic your mouth. Pistol. No, I'm not doing that. Wow. The sonic <laughs> pistol just shouts, gotta go fast! I know. That was indeed a hit. Uh, on red, you said? On red, I said. Okay, I'm dealing six sonic type damage. She gets spin dashed for six damage. Whew! <laughs> uh, that's a, a standard, that's all I got. Alright, uh, it is going to be. Red's turn, in fact. Um, kind of ganging up on Mouse right now. Um, let's see here. I can take him. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of logically what this individual would do. And I am realizing that I started today, again, another rookie mistake. They're just piling up. They're piling up, man. Uh, I don't have my dice anywhere near me. Um, so I'm gonna this is what happens when we take a week off, man. I know. It all falls I, I feel really bad. Uh, it's just uh, things just weren't going to work out last week. Let me obtain oh. my dice because no matter what this person does, dice is going to be are going to be required. Di you're going to need right, dice. We'll wait yeah. One moment. Yeah, no. Last week was Fourth of July, man. Right. That whole weekend was nuts. 
Okay, wait a second. Why does Harald now have cracked skull six? Got six cracked yeah. skulls. You do? Yeah. Did you but... like manifest Ooh. them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why I don't see why we're all so confused. Harald is manifesting skulls. Oh. Okay, is this to supplant the upcoming uh lack the of snail? snail? Yes. Yeah, it's a it's a weird ability I picked up. It has two oh, phases, okay. the snail phase and the cracked skull phase, and they're separated by four rounds. And can you can you do it when it's not your turn? Uh a hundred percent, yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, so yeah, this uh, this commando that was just shot by Kalen is going to do a is going to try to hit Mouse before disengaging uh, with a little knife slash. <laughs> Does a fifteen hit your KAC, Mouse? No, uh, yeah, 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 it does. It does? Oh, man. I, I suspected that was going to miss. She's not an armor. Concealment? <laughs> not an armor. Oh, in oh, smoke. The, the, I am in smoke. Uh, I, thought we'd, I thought we found out that was a Pathfinderism, or... No, no, no. The, oh, the, but it the doesn't work in melee that. was a Pathfinderism. That's uh, what but she is fully confused. She is fully concealed. Is and it's Starfinder, concealed. if she is fully in a square that is and covered in smoke encased in smoke I don't know she's she's in the smoke she gets yeah. concealment okay oh, uh, like Batman it, what's what's the percentage on that is it 20 50 50 I believe it's 50 50 okay we'll, we'll go with that for now just because I don't have the answer in front of me I will double check uh, okay uh, <laughs> it was four percent in the hit zone I got 54 <laughs> so <laughs> sorry mouse uh, that is gonna be uh, seven slashing damage. I really, hate, I really hate hurting mouse. Like I, the image of, of hurting mouse, like it's not. I don't. It's not pleasant to me. I don't like thinking about it. It's okay. She's tough. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> she can take and, it. Uh, she's going to take a five foot guarded shifting uh, move action. Uh, away from Mouse to avoid uh, getting an attack of opportunity. Uh, that will bring us back to Herald. You watched your teammate get s pulled right out the window. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll say, Kaylin, now good to see you again. Uh, was that was that uh, Ninden just flying through our hallway and out the window? He had some help. I see. Um, you you so can see him. Uh, Currently, oh yeah, there's all there's all these windows. Yeah. Has a jetpack. <laughs> Next question, Ninden. This was two weeks ago, real time, but like twelve seconds in game time. Have I ever restored stamina to you in this fight? I believe you did because I took hit point damage, yes. but now I have stamina damage. Yes. So, yes, or I have stamina back. Awesome. So yeah, no. Unfortunately, I've already been bolstered by your loving and kind words. <laughs> and I think I've also bolstered uh, Mouse with my loving and kind words. So have you? I don't think so. Really? I feel like Maybe? you'd be the first person I'd bolster with my loving and kind words. Because you're right here mm. in front of me, protecting should, me from these big bats. Using, we should start using like a colored dot to show. Yeah, it usually doesn't bolstered. matter unless battle spans multiple sessions. Um, sure. Um, okay, I will shoot mouse point blank with uh -huh. a friendly gun. Nice. <laughs> With 20% missed chance. No, we're right next to each other, right? Or, oh, she's concealed. Okay, never mind. I will elbow Holy out this. Book. Can't you just, like, shove it up against, between my shoulder blades? <laughs> Apparently yes. not. Just just put it right between her eyes. Can you choose eyes. to be helpless? Can he coup de gras with the, with the shield? <laughs> I don't think Mouse is helpless. I think Mouse would be very offended if you suggested as such. It's okay, it's okay. So Ninden is not in a smoke cloud. No. So I will elbow out a window and then. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll, I'll fire it through. I, I'm, I feel I have faith that the shield projector will fire straight through the window towards Ninden. All right. That's the plan. 
This is gonna work. Where's my macro for this? He's gonna get a little, a little tiny bit of force field. Yeah, Ooh. 13. That hits the... uh, we have determined that that is a hit because uh, we've decided that the balancing thing we're going to do with the shield projector gun is we're going to make it so that uh, the AC is going to be 10. Uh, Makes sense. Potentially, uh, may maybe just a 10 plus dexterity modifier uh, just because that way it, it makes it kind of like a touch attack, if that makes sense. Sure. Um, but either mm -hmm. way, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a hit. So. Um, uh... It, it depends on if you want to enact that dexterity modifier thing right now. Oh, oh no, that's fine. It, th this is fine. Okay, uh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Though, I, I am tempted to bring out, like, the old 3.5 in Pathfinderism, where if you shoot into melee, <laughs> like, when, when two people are grappling, you roll a, a percentile to hit uh, the enemy instead of the intended target or whatever. That would be <laughs> you give you give her a force field. Dang um, it! So yeah, Ninden, you have uh, te you have four temporary hit points in force field form. All right, that'll All really right. make that one hundred foot fall manageable, I think. Oh, I tell you what, friend, I have some plans. <laughs> uh, all right, that will bring us to unless uh, Harold wants to do no, something else. No, no, I don't. Turn. I don't move. You know how I roll. He, he takes the move action and he drops it out the window. Absolutely. Just to te just to test the fall for for Ninda, and he wants and to see. And then I lose a snail and a skull. Echo. Oh no, we're down to one snail, folks. Uh, oh no! Gur, your friend just got pulled violently out the doorway. <laughs> um. So he's gonna start by running looking out the window and kind of reaching in going ah! <laughs> um, but Gur honestly has no idea how to how to fix this yeah, so you, right yeah he he checks around for a grappling hook to shoot at Ninden doesn't find one <laughs> uh, it's, so it's okay I've got this <laughs> um, and he'll look over his shoulder and see out of it, give her a hand All by right. oh. giving this guy a hand, if you will, right in his. So, I'm going to assume that you were not using uh, acrobatics to avoid attacks of opportunity. Uh, I mean, I can try, <clears throat> okay? Okay, but I don't think you've but... moved, I think you've only moved half your speed, so you can still do that. Um, no, to get to that point, I had to move uh, nearly my full speed. Oh, and I would well. actually have to move through, or I'd have to roll for two different squares, so I'm not even going to bother, because I'm not going to make it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Continuing my trend of rolling really well against Gur. Not not a critical hit, but... Sorry, only one of them gets to hit me. Yeah, that's true. It's a, it's a 15 on the die, so that is definitely going to be a hit. Oh, yes. Um, and... That means that as you make your way down the hallway to uh, flank the attacker uh, directly in front of Mouse, the commando that you slipped by, maybe not noticing her because you were uh, <laughs> too busy looking at Ninden hanging <laughs> onto a jetpack lady <laughs> outside your window, um, you get you get slashed in the side uh, for a total of nine damage. Um, Is that kind Ninden of going out the window? S oh! Just, just slashing. So, probably okay. four damage. So, yes, four damage. There you go. Um, Still gotcha. You felt it. Yeah, well, don't get too excited. I'm just not. Listen. These two are <laughs> these two are toast. I, I, yeah. I am fully aware. That oh, I was going to say. Uh, Blue gets a single punch to the back of the head. For 20, 23 to hit. It's actually, ooh, that's, 16 a, damage. that's a miss. No, it totally hits. <laughs> uh, well, actually, they, hold on a sec. Does yeah, it hit? Uh, why? Why would it not has, hit? Still has, still has a mirror image. Um, oh, mother. One two, one, two is a miss. Three, four is a hit. One. All right. You punch right into the image, but there's no images left. That's happy, right? There we go. Now, what what once looked like six commandos now only looks like two commandos uh, uh, throughout the course of this combat. So, 
Edgar roars in frustration. She she goes, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Ninden. Hi. How's it going? The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, you know, <laughs> just uh, just hanging out. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Ah. <laughs> Funny you should say that, uh, because you you get the distinct impression that this lady uh, would really like to let go of you right around now. Sure, yeah. Um, the feeling is mutual, or would be mutual if I had the jetpack, right? Um, <laughs> right. Okay. So I get the hey. feeling she's about to let go of me. Here's a, here's a crazy idea, and, you know, feel free to shoot this idea down, but... Um... What if out of Sunder attacks? What if you tried that against the jetpack? Uh, I don't have Sunder focus, unfortunately. So ah, fair. That's right. It is. Can a you sleight of hand the jetpack? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just yoink the jetpack off of her booties? Um. Uh. Ooh. Um. Well, my original plan was to just, you know, headbutt her to death. Um. <laughs> Because wouldn't that be a cool image? Uh, Subtle. Uh, Classic. Oh, yeah. And then you ride her corpse. Yeah, pretty much. That was it. We were just going to meteorically like fall surfing on her back. <laughs> I was just going to like a surfboard. <laughs> I would make sure that her face was going first, and uh, that would absorb most of the blow. It's fine. But... Mm, there was um, a Dr. McNeil okay. episode like this. Yeah. Although uh, in that case, okay. it was Dracula. Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I guess I'm just gonna, like, wh what can I do to prevent her from dropping me? I don't know. What, uh, what, what ideas do you have? I mean, we're kind of in, like, there's no rules for this, uh, obviously. Yeah, sure. Uh, so. Well, well, under her? So that, because if she lets go, she'll drop you, right? Yeah, so you, you pretty could, much have to. You, you could you grapple, grapple her back. Her. Yeah. I could grapple her back. She'd have to resist your grapple, so. Um... And then you can maneuver her legs to move her back toward the window. Uh, oh boy. Or, um, I, I guess I it's, it's really her back because it's a jetpack, right? Are they jump jets or like her jump jet boots or it's, like a, it, a it, they're not they're not jet boots. They they this her is a legit jet jetpack. Yeah, jets. Okay, it's actually a jetpack. Okay. Um, Don't Nick. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> She's Boba the Fett. I was gonna I stop until you told me not to. I hate that God. so much. I think the Boba the Fett, that, mm, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> can I reach around and not so subtly just flip off her jetpack? Like, turn oh it off. Oh, boy. Hit the off switch. Uh. Oh, no! Yeah, let's, let's do, um. And would that kill me? <laughs> so I mean, I 100 gonna, I was... feet if you intentionally fall. I was gonna, I was gonna address that. Okay, so. I don't have like a set value for how high this is because I okay. looked at the fall damage rules in Starfinder and they're not helpful. I, I guess just like Pathfinder um, is the same way. Like in Pathfinder, a barbarian of like level 13 could literally fall from space and survive, which sure. seems um, a little ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's basically a, it's a D6 every 10 per feet. Yeah. Um, I can attempt an acrobatics check since I'm falling intentionally. I avoid uh -huh. the first D6. The acrobatics check, I think, turns the next D6 into non-lethal, which seems pointless if I'm falling taking another eight style. D6. But uh, yeah. But it caps out. Like it's like it's like a D6 for every ten feet up to a point, and then it just stops accumulating. No, Starfinder doesn't cap. It doesn't. No, you keep adding D6s. Oh, okay. For every ten feet. So, if so you okay. have a number in mind, uh... Roughly 200 feet. Ho, ho, ho. Uh... I, I would like Oh, this to God, be that's too many D6s! I would like to treat this as, as a... as definitely a, a, a most likely lethal fall. That's fair. Um... <laughs> from, from a certain interpretation. Um... <laughs> from some interpretation <laughs> of fair. Uh, For certain no, definition no, it's fair. It's okay. Um... I have four shield hit points, right? So yes, uh, that would help. Well, I guess four. I'm gonna grab. I'm I'm gonna try to grapple, but like, um, do you? I I don't know. I, I mean, this is all a mess. Do you Let's... accept the argument 
that uh, vanguards can use their, or well, you can use an operative melee weapon to uh, make a combat maneuver, which then allows you to use your dex instead of your strength to attempt the combat maneuver. Goodness. Um, well, I mean, does does the does this attack have the property of what you're trying to do? Like, is it a grappling weapon? Is it a? Oh, you know what? It's not a grappling weapon, so I guess that wouldn't. Be, although I, I don't know, uh, Drew and I Rules talked about weird. this a lot, but um, um, so anyway, uh, I think top of the order we should probably resolve a grapple check because I think Ninden would not like to be dropped. No, I, d I don't think I would. Uh, okay. So I guess I'll so make let's do a that straight, first. Uh, strength attack roll. Um, so that's a d20 plus seven. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, here. It comes. Okay, it's a 17. That's probably not going to hit her uh, KAC plus 8. Oh, Hold it definitely on. doesn't do that. Um, so this isn't... This all wrong. Simon, so in multiple different ways to re-grapples or take control of the grapple. Yeah. Taking that control point. of the grapple is virtually impossible by the Starfinder rules. I mean, you just have Unless to win the grapple Unless you are a designated grappler. Yeah. Grapple, 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 grapple. Probably should have pulled up the grappling rules before we started. I would At also pause it since... it's not Pathfinder grappling rules. They, they, they're definitely worse than Pathfinder. <laughs> I, I, I would is, there, uh, is there a question? Since... I sort of... I must have missed it. Oh, just... Uh... Probably answer how to turn the grapple around. Yeah, it's a grapple check. Yeah. Uh... Um, yeah. it would... Okay, it's a straight grapple yeah. check then. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah. I am not one of those grappling vanguards that you hear. That you I hear guess so nothing about cuz we're not out, we're not out yet, but um <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So, you do have to so you just have to make a, a an, an attack roll against their AC in order to grapple. Is that yep, correct? With the, with the minus eight. And KAC plus eight. Okay. Yeah, I would have had to roll higher than a 10 for sure. Absurdly high. Okay. Yeah, um, well. I, I would also posit that since um, you, you mentioned that this was sort of out of the bounds of the yes. normal rules, yes. um, I'll, I'll step back and let you do a thing, I guess. Uh, you, you decide what you want to do. With my well, uh, what what would your what would your um, dexterity have made that? Uh, I would have made it three higher, so not great. Um, oh yeah, her AC. Uh, it would have been a twenty. Bigger than that. Way yeah, sure. Than that. that actually meets her KAC. Um, oh boy, yeah, I couldn't have made it with strength then, and barely made it with uh, dex. So, um, the answer to your question, Nick, is yes. I would I would allow that. Um, so. <laughs> you see, so what happens, and people can watch uh, as this as this occurs. Uh, Carlana, uh, well, you don't know her name. Her name's Carlana, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Spoilers. Is, she lets go of Ninden, who is hanging onto her, and uh, you can tell her jetpack is not meant to carry the weight of a giant lizard on top of the weight of just herself. Um, and she brings up her arm and gives Ninden a solid whack right across the side of the snout with her elbow, which then glances into her forearm. And she proceeds to do this several more times until Ninden eventually loses his grip and falls. Uh, but I thought, I thought, I thought it was no. my turn, Seth. Uh, yeah, well, it's I mean, your turn. Yeah, it's still your turn. I'm just letting you know that that grapple was not successful. <laughs> so is there anything else you would like to do? Uh, I guess hold on real tight, but <laughs> I find myself in an impossible situation, believe it or not. Don't worry. I, I, you know, I had some ideas for how this would go down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> I, I'm not just going to, I don't know. Maybe I'll just kill Ninden. Maybe I, maybe I just hate the character. No! <laughs> Such a meanie. Well, joke's on oh, you, because you get to draw more character art then. And I'm ah. gonna make it a weird one, Seth. I'm gonna make it so weird. Weird, weirder not, than my my marriage life. 
And you're not gonna and you're not gonna give me any feedback and anytime I ask you for any updates or changes, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna give me really unhelpful information. And oh, yeah. personally attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, would you like to use any of your other actions on this turn? Um You have a move action, I think. I do have a move action. She's probably not a sturdy enough surface for me to jump off of, though, right? I mean, you could try. I could. Um, I'm pretty good at at, at, at jumping. Uh, if I could do it in an acrobatic check, I would be about three better. But Okay, um, I mean, yeah, that, that seems fine. This seems like a very acrobatic situation. Yeah, Dick so uh, Ninden will... <laughs> Dick Grayson, yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, Ninden will, uh, seeing that his grapple is not going to work, uh, he's going to try and, like, squirm around towards the window and make a flying leap. Uh, he's going to let go of her and kick off. Okay. Uh, and do, like... That's the beauty way to go. Uh, uh yes. Uh, a swan dive right through the window that we came through. Um, okay. So... Let me see. Everybody okay. cross your fingers! Let me think your... about oh, what kind of DC would be required for this. Your okay. tentacles! <laughs> Roald, make more fingers so you can cross them. Uh, would you say that this is Roald a difficult... Roald nothing but fingers. Oh. I would say this is pretty difficult. We're, uh... <laughs> this seems like a know. difficult DC. <laughs> I have basically a non-surface to push off of, right? Mm -hmm. Um, because, uh... <laughs> you know. But, it, to be fair, it's only ten feet. That's true. It's not that far. Yeah, I for, like to imagine for you listeners at home, it's not that far. I like to imagine far. that the like jetpack that she's using probably has auto stabilizers, so as soon as he like pushes off, it like automatically pushes the opposite direction, making a nice firm surface. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, write in this this <laughs> this encounter for me. It's it, I'm I'm just trying to help. <laughs> I I think that was very helpful. You're not helping me kill Ninden. <laughs> Sorry, stop, sir. Help, stop trying to keep Minden alive. <laughs> All right. I take All out right, my I'm other gonna... gun. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to make the acrobatics check now. Do it. Do it. It's a 32. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! It's a 19 on the die. Wowzers. Yeah. Okay. So, Minden. God like, is real. Realizes he's going to, he's definitely going down. And in a last ditch effort, bursts out of the grapple with his arms, pushing back, and then kicks off of her, doing a sweet kick flip through the air. <laughs> Woo! I don't think that's what a kick flip is, but. Probably not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it is was, now! It was diabetic. With a 32, <laughs> it is now. All right, and then I will need you to make uh, an athletics check to grab the window <laughs> as, you, as you get over to it. Hup. That's a 24. All right. Uh, suddenly I... some large lizardy forearms are, are hanging off of the, the, the windowsill. I told oh, you my Lord. I had a plan. <laughs> Darn it. Don't bring me in. Oh, it all... That would put you roughly there. And all right. <laughs> yeah, that, this is... that, that happened. Just happened. <laughs> My meteor count goes down to one, uh, as I'm slightly less likely to meteor to the ground. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I end my weird turn. Okay. Um, There's going to be Blue, Commando Blue's turn. It's uh, going to attempt a full attack against Mouse, because, of course, uh, let's see here. Mouse has not suffered enough, apparently. Untrue. That is going to be a uh, 16 and a 14 against KAC. I'm going to imagine the 14 probably misses. Actually, they both hit. 14 hits Mouse's KAC. I mean, I'm seeing KAC 13, EAC 13. All right. No, no armor. Mm. Oh yeah, no armor. Right. Thank you for yeah, reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. That's why this encounter was 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 really scary. I'm Terrible. Just, yeah, because no one's that. wearing their armor because we were in oh, bed. Sort of yeah. remembering yeah. that now. Sort of remembering that now. Okay. 
And that's the, that's probably the main reason Carlana was able to grab Ninden in the first place is because his AC was substantially yeah. lower than it typically yeah. is. Yeah, I only have um, 16 AC right now. Yeah, uh, so that's going to be a 6 uh, slash damage to Mouse. Uh, and that is going to be the end of her turn. Hey, do y'all remember that there were snipers? <laughs> Oh no! I, I was hoping not. that you had forgotten and I wasn't <laughs> gonna remind you. Yeah, it's not like I was gonna remind you. My fat Vesk butt is hanging out of the window and you're yes. now reminding me that there are snipers here. And they try to shoot you. One of them does, at least. Ah! Uh, oh, uh, that's gonna be a 21, which I think is a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Well, that's going to be a 10 piercing damage, and then as you're hanging off the window, you get shot in the back by a suppressed sniper rifle from across the I hotel. Got shot in the buttock. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Do, we, do, we have, do we have a um, a stand-in word for that that specific body part? I don't think we prunk. do. It's uh, all prunk. The, it's prunk. I think we need it's one. Down. The doozle. The doozle. Right the in the doozle. doozle. Oh my god. Where does that come from? Um, That's kind of I fun don't to say. Know. I just pulled it out of my doozle, okay? Um, <laughs> Good. Uh, well, joke's yes. on you, Seth, because now I have another entropy point. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so my, so my awesome huge shield got used there, right? So that sniper oh, shot hurt slightly less. I don't have another entropy point. Thank you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Harold. No, no, no. Like, that was genuine. That was genuine. Um, so... I think you took two HP damage. I did. So... And then add and another then two stamina back. Two stamina. There you go. All right. Thank you, friend. And nice. then... Grr, that was a 22. Okay, I see. I'm going to assume that's a hit. Oh, yeah. I don't even need to answer that. Sorry. No, 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 no. I'm at <laughs> full health. Yeah, yeah. And nearly so, full. Asleep. There you go. Uh, enjoy a nine piercing damage, which I believe translates into four. Yeah, thanks damage. for the f four piercing damage. There you go. <laughs> enjoy. I hope you like it. Mm, it's a little There's bit on the stringy side, but thanks. Oh, okay. All right, Gordon. Uh, I, think, I, I think the world needs to know what kind of pajamas everyone is wearing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. We need to know what people sleep in. Yes. Uh, Don't answer obviously. with another character. That's a little weird. Obviously, Mouse sleeps in a onesie. Yeah. Like. Oh, is it like a Kigurumi? Front... Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It is a Mouse Kigurumi. That's what she's wearing right now. Yeah, mouse all, been... this, all this carnage that she's been enacting or trying to <laughs> in a Mouse Kigurumi. That is the cutest. You're welcome. That is the cutest goddamn thing. <laughs> Um, mouse Kurt. is hecking cute. Friendly covered in blood. <laughs> is, is that is that Gers is that Gers uh, uh, nightwear? Could co be just blood. <laughs> just always. <laughs> he just keeps like a bat. Ger, Ger every sleeps. night dips into it. Ger sleeps in his boxers and a tank top. Oh, so okay. that's what he's in right now. Pretty plain. All right. Yeah. Boxer briefs. You're welcome. Uh, Thirsty fucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nindin, I'll, I'll do you one better. Nindin just wears boxer briefs. That's it. Oh. So, so he's now, hanging out now, the window in just his boxer briefs. Now, uh, just just a little bit less material there. Thanks for the shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kalen's got like shorts and a tank top. Um, Harald's right. torn between like uh, some really classic patterned like um, blue striped pajamas with like a little hat with a with a thing on top, or yeah, just... so those little sleeping caps with a little dealy bobby over his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, or since he was like a coat a second ago, maybe he was just so distracted that he's just totally nude right now, just pulling the Zoidberg. Ah. <laughs> oh no! So folds. The so listening <laughs> folds. All right. Well, so we see the abyss. While this is all trans, while this is all transparent, <laughs> uh, this uh, this lady she distances herself just a little bit. Oh wait, no, she doesn't. I don't because I want something cool to happen. She stays right there and <laughs> uh, at close range pulls out a uh, azimuth laser rifle and tries to shoot Ninden in the back. Uh, really wants this lizard to fall. 
cheat. Hey, would like this lizard small. My, my D8 was hiding. Like, you ever have just like so many D6s that you can't find a specific die? Yes, actually. <laughs> All right. Um, that is going to be 11 fire damage as you get shot in the back. And I just remembered I am not using these weapons. <coughs> there you go. Right okay. I, now I do have four entropy points and not three. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. This is all fine. <laughs> There we go, and that'll bring us back to Mouse. All right. Uh, oh! Are you for real? Why? <laughs> all right, now we all gotta ch talk in chat so it scrolls out. <laughs> That's just, it's yeah. just there now. So It's just, it's <laughs> Zoinberg. It's, yeah, it's... For, for those of you listening to the no! podcast, no, that is uh, I'm gonna change all your titles. Glistening Zoid. Change the overlay. <laughs> Horrible and horrid. Uh, <laughs> oh, little words. So, podcast um, listeners, be glad you didn't have to see. Oh, uh, yeah. it was a naked Zoid for a gift. Home, it was <laughs> the. Yeah. Imagine that in your mind's eye. Yeah, I'm just. I yeah. still have to see it because I have a 4K screen, so like, it's still on my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> so we I, can uh, see that Ninden, <laughs> Ninden has the smaller screen, I have the medium I, screen, and Seth has the extremely large screen. Tom, you don't have to. You don't have to be. You don't have to be a narc. Don't don't protect the boss. That's not going to get you brownie points. <laughs> Please, please, please I'm, dangling. I'm, I'm dangling here. <laughs> you literally hanging by a thread. Uh, Mouse, what would you like to do with your turn? Well, um, so it has been called to my attention that Mouse is 20 feet away from the woman with the jetpacks. And That's weird. Mouse also happens to have remote hack. She does. Uh, so Mouse is going to try and remote hack those jetpack boots. Do it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we'll call that an engineering check. Do it. 29. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what is it? What are you attempting to do with this hack? Like what's what, um, what in your mind's eye? What, what happens? Oh, what I would just do is uh, fly her body like in a swoop up underneath uh, Ninden. Oh. Sort of circle around, use her body to like shove Ninden back into the window, and then she'll just go on a randomized flight path out where she is. Um, you know, just sort of like wah, like a balloon <laughs> let loose in a yes. room. Yeah. Oh man, and here I thought you were just gonna like trunk and turn off her jetpacks, let her fall. Okay. Yeah. I have an idea for how this will work, and I, I don't want to. I don't want to DM Fiat like making her move when it's not her turn too much. So I think I'll probably wait until it's her turn. But I have an idea for how this will work out. Fantastic. <laughs> um, or I'll do I it on Ninden's. Glee. I'll do it on Ninden's turn because that that would make the most sense in this circumstance. Uh, all right. Would you like to do anything with your move action? Oh. Um. Hmm. Uh, what's a useful thing to do here? Um... Hey, what's up, Bus Sybil? You didn't no, miss much. Uh, Ninden is uh, about to die. That's about all that's going on. Nope, I'm about to survive. I'm about to <laughs> defy your grim fate for me once again. Uh, so Mouse is not going to utilize her move action. Yeah, I can't think of a good thing for it. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh. Um, I think, unless it's not. Is um, is, is like taking total defense. Is that a move? Action. I think that's a standard. Full. Oh, not total defense, but like there's like a defense thing you can do. But I think that might be a standard action. Come to think of it. Ah, oh, darn it! Energy shield is a standard. Oh, oh no! I've got no idea what to do. Okay. She saw. She sees. She takes a lesson from Harald, who just took his move action and dropped it out the window, and she does it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, all the cool there. kids are doing it. I don't need this. <laughs> yeah, man, Thanks. we can just be staggered all the time. 
Get out of here, move action. What are you doing? Uh, all right, that will bring us to Kaylin. All right, I will uh, shoot that red one again with my thunder strike. Sonic pistol. Fourteen to hit. Uh, EAC, right? EAC. I think that's just a hit. Let me double check that. If it does hit, it's ten whole damage. That's a lot, actually. Yeah, that is you hit. Yeah. You hit the AC right on the dot with that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ooh. That's Sonic. Um, Where are you, Sonic? I love you, Sonic. Come back to me. There we go. And <laughs> how far can I move my wisp? I can move it sixty feet. Yeah, I'll move my wisp from the big bad to the one that's trying to hit mouse there, the blue one, mm -hmm. with my move action. And I will give a covering fire. Thanks, Mom. OK. That's so nice. Wispy do. Um, off. On. Uh, at this point, yeah, the, the blue commando, the one that's between Gur and uh, Mouse is the healthiest looking combatant in this situation. Uh, Commando Red and uh, Carlana not looking so hot, uh, but Carlana is flying uh, for, for at least a, a small measure of time. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, that will bring us to Commando Red, who just disengaged from combat and finds herself right back in it. Um, hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I just had an idea. Uh, and I will Oh, no. The rules. I don't know if I like GM ideas. No. Especially not when he starts looking up rules. Okay. It's always bad news for us. Not She's going to try to do a thing. She's going to try to do a thing. I'm going to roll it, and I'm, and I'm going to see what the result is. The rolls uh, as some people uh, call it. Who? What? What? Huh? You can't uh, just make up words on the fly, Seth. I'm not making up You're words. You're not a Republican. You can't just, make up words. Whoa, whoa hold on. Words together. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> My sister used to tell me that back back in the day. <laughs> Only Republicans are allowed to make up words. You're not oh, a Republican. Man. All right, hold on. <laughs> We're here to play Starfinder, Nick. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the the KAC. What is Gers KAC? Wouldn't you Perfect. like to know? I would like to know. I'm very 13. curious. Thirteen. Oh. oh. Yeah, acceptable to com combat. Um, so I actually rolled a 21 on this attack. Uh, this individual is attempting to bull rush you out the window. <laughs> Doesn't well, bull rush have good. to start from farther away? Or it am I crazy? does not indicate that. Oh, that's a charge. No, sorry. Sorry. Yes. Uh, so I believe, I always yeah. Think she successfully manages to push you five feet to the east, which would put you window work. Okay. Does that usually like require a reflex save to catch the edge? I forget. Does it? It doesn't say that. Oh, wait. It says if an obstacle is in the way, the target stops at the obstacle instead. So I'm going to assume that the wall would stop him. But I don't yeah, know. We, brought the, we brought the window partially up. Yeah, should we should we should we rule of cool it? I don't know how many yes. people are with us. <laughs> how about this? Uh, Gur, make a you're you're pretty good at athletics, right? Indeed. Yeah, just make an athletics check. It's, it's a pretty simple one, you know, stopping yourself from falling off of a railing. Over a railing. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Drama. Uh oh. Okay. I mean, so you, okay, stop. you can't crit fail. <laughs> So he doesn't. No, I like this too much. Okay, so so Gur, you you try to stop yourself from from being pushed out of the the window, but you kind of topple backwards. But you catch it, 
So now you're just hanging outside the window. <laughs> and literally 10 feet to your left is Ninvin hanging outside the window. That's Girl, what the prank are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? In, the max in their matching boxer briefs. Yes! <laughs> just two dudes in their underwear hanging outside a window. You know, no big deal. No Somebody big deal. looks up. Wow, must be a crazy party up there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, and the crow just indicated this is the most Gurden thing to have ever happened. Total agreement. I that agree. is 100% correct. Fan Herald. art of this, please. Harold, people are throwing your squad mates outside the window. What is, like, this is the strategy here, apparently. Please come back inside. <laughs> um, uh, I'm really, uh, okay, okay. Um... <laughs> I think everyone who's taken damage is immune to... Oh, wait, no, Gur, Gur recently took damage. Okay, okay. Yes. I will poke my head out of the window that is near me, mm -hmm. uh, looking south, and say, all, all right, gentlemen, um, I I realize that this is fun, but, you know, I, I just want us to be a bit more serious about this fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's just what? get back into the room and finish off these mercenaries. And that means you, Gur. And Gur is encouraged by this. Yeah, yeah Dad. Fine. Now, d does does Gur get stamina back because he feels better about the situation, or because he's mad? Because he's mad. Okay. I thought so. Thought that might be the case. Stop just right. hanging around. <laughs> what do you do with that move action? <laughs> Deposit in the move action repository. Oh, the I... uh, circular wait, the circular file, basically. Mm -hmm. I just oh, noticed. No. I just noticed Herald. something. Your snail. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh no, we're out of snails. No, God. All right, well, that's the end of this episode. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. <laughs> yeah, I really thought we'd clean no! it up in two, we're in out two of snail. rounds. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do, Nick. The game is over. Like, roll of cool! Roll, roll, roll. roll of cool! <laughs> Harald, you find it within yourself. You find that you have four snail all of a sudden. <laughs> all right, my skulls transform into snails. You did it. Ah. Sna snail skulls. Snails, if you will. No, right. better yet, snails crawl out of the skulls. <laughs> ah! Ah! I like that image. Um, right, right. You would. Hey, Gert, do you the hang out here often? Crawling. The um, worms crawl out. Not, not often, but... Damn it, Seth, you took my thing. joke! And and with that, he... He, he draws his... Levels it at the... Um, at the lady... Mm -hmm. Flying the jetpack and takes the shot. Oh, nice. I, I mean, are you technically within me? Eh, whatever. Like, uh, the, this this lady's trying to like, to she's she's trying to pound your fingers. She's trying to get you to let go. Yeah. No, it's the jetpack lady, right? Right, but he's trying to hit the the jetpack lady, but he's also um. Oh, I see. Okay. Right next to the person who shoved him out the window, uh. But that's fine. I'm not worried. I'm not too concerned about yep. it. Yep. Uh, all right. So oof, not the most damage, uh, but that is a hit. Uh, so. Let's... I don't know why it said piercing and fire. I've definitely changed that too. He's using what's up? Real shells right now. Um, I said. Can you hear? Uh oh. Oh, oh uh oh. No. Robo, Robo. Honking Wasilla. Robo girl. He's typing. Type, type, type. Tippity tap, tap. All piercing. It's okay, got it. Uh, yeah, you, you hit her, and, uh, you, you see, you see, uh, uh, when you shoot her that her jetpack doesn't quite compensate the way you would expect it to. She starts wobbling a little bit, and it seems like she herself is a little surprised by this. Marvelous. <laughs> so, that'll bring us to Ninden's turn. And then before you, uh, unless, uh, girl, you'd like to do something else, or, oh, wait, you used your move action to pull the gun it, out, that's right. It was... Oh, 
you're still cutting out real bad. Well, now he's mute. Yeah. Oh. I, uh, I said yes, there was... The, the move action was used to draw the weapon. Okay, got it. That'll bring us to Ninden then. Uh, so Ninden, <laughs> I don't know if you're paying attention to the jetpack lady or if you're focused solely on... Uh, well, the, now the not falling to your death? He's mentally fuming at the fact that his friend didn't climb back into the window and instead chose to hang from one hand, I guess, and shoot with the other. But uh, I guess he doesn't. He can't, he also can't really see red standing and blocking his entrance. Right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, before you can before you can really think of anything, there's suddenly uh, the the jet pack uh, from behind you flares out. And anybody else can watch as all of a sudden she rockets like face first into the window, <laughs> at the, the side of the wall. And then, after uh... being pinned against the wall by the jetpack for a moment, she shoots up, uh, going head first right into to lizard. What what is the what was the term? Doofle. Doofle. Lizard uh, doofle. Uh, uh, <laughs> smacking you and then and giving you doozle. an upward shock. No, doozle. Yes, oh, doozle. 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 It is doozle. it is doozle. doozle. Yeah, my, my bad. I mean, prompt. Gotta... Anyway, uh, so, uh, yes, if you would like to try to climb into the window, you uh, have a circumstance bonus, we'll call it. Ah, that's what we'll call that. Um, all right, uh, what, do you, what kind of check do you want me to make? A athletics. Cool. That is only a 13, but... That's, that's fine. Your doozle's getting pushed, so you're, you're good. Yeah, buddy. Um... <laughs> you, as you... As you as you kind of roll into the window, so, you can see that she uh, she rockets up above the the top of the window and then kind of just starts spinning, spiraling out, <laughs> completely out of control. And it looks like she might be unconscious now. Excellent. You really got to be more careful with those jetpack things. He calls out the window, <laughs> and um, he will continue moving over to this red one. Uh, tap right. him on the shoulder in classic tough guy, you know. Uh, bra bravado and uh -huh. say hello and punch and uh, that's punch. my favorite catchphrase <laughs> my favorite one liner hello uh, that's a 12 versus their EAC it's a natural 2 oh no that's not quite a hit <laughs> she oh, seems so damn. stunned about what happened to her boss that she moves in a really unpredictable fashion and your fist just misses her unfortunately <laughs> okay <laughs> That's uh, that's Ninden's turn then. Alrighty. <laughs> Man, uh, Commando Blue here is really in a tough spot. <laughs> um, well, I mean, maybe not. She's not being flanked anymore. Uh, she's desperately going to try to finish off this adorable mouse-looking individual in front of her. You mean the Ooh. terrifying individual who's just mostly killed her boss? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is very true. Um, yeah, there's another attempted full attack. Uh, first attack, super misses. Second one is a hit. Uh, that is going to be oh. nine, nine slashing damage if she faint, if she fakes. Wait, hold on. Concealment. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. And I think we confirmed it's 20% concealment, right? Yes, yes, it is 20%. So 20% chance to miss is what it is? Right, right. Okay. Oh, that is unfortunately still a super hit. Uh, that's going to be uh, nine slashing damage to miss. My Kirigumi, or whatever it, what is her? Kirigumi. <laughs> Kigu Rumi. Kigu Rumi. <laughs> um, that was nine, you said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that'll bring us to this lady. She's She's got no actions to take. She's basically on a collision course with death at this point. So, uh, the snipers, however. Yeah, I'm still I'm quite active. about our boy dangling out the window here. Yep, they're still trying to target Wait, no. the two big combatants here. Uh, Ninden, that is definitely- There is a cloud of smoke in between them and him. And him. What now? Just say. There's, there's this big cloud of smoke. They have to shoot no, through this smoke. No, they're to the east. No, right? they're 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 shooting from the east. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dude. They've got a they've got a wide open shot from where they are. That was the idea. Yeah. Um, so and then that's a 15 on the die. Uh, I don't think I have to. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, I mean, right, I that guess. Is, <laughs> that is going to be 13 piercing damage as you're hit by another sniper slug, actually. Ninden grunts, um, and you see a little bit of entropic energy flare oh, yeah. out of his body as he spends an entropy point to use uh, mitigate. Ah, is that half damage? Cut, yeah, cutting that in half. So it was 13, so six? Yes. Correct. Cool. Thank you. Just die already. Uh, and then No. <laughs> that's another shot at Gur. Oh, this one might miss. 14 KAC? My KAC is 13 right now. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I it might miss. I thought there was... I thought, I thought love was alive, but it's not. Love is dead. Uh, that'll be uh, before your, your dark modifications... Uh, that will be 14 <laughs> piercing damage, so 9, I believe. Oh, okay. So yep. God. Yep, 9. Yeah, these snipers are deadly, man. Here's I wanted to, wanted to be scary. How you doing there, bud? Congratulations. Hasn't touched my health. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, he's doing oh, fine. He, Gur's still doing way better than Inden at this point. Yeah. I, um, I sort of assumed we were on par, but I guess not. Oh, no. Gur's fine. <laughs> Gur's been staying out of... Uh, this combat. Yeah, that's true. All right. He hasn't good. been. He hasn't been. Uh, uh, he hasn't been instigating uh, a lot of hate yet. Uh, Ninden earned all of Carlana's ire in the previous uh, in the previous episode. Yeah. Mouse. All right, Mouse. Is so sick of slashing at this lady and not hitting anything. But now she has nowhere to hide. Because <laughs> all of her, yeah, things are gone. And how? Uh, so sword is hacky. Do it. You could even do two because uh, you've got you've already got your uh, targeting yeah. on there. Yeah, full want. attack, full attack, do it. Do it. targeting, doing it. Ah, fifteen twelve. Uh, the fifteen hits. Yeah, for eight damage. <laughs> and there's no image, so. Yeah. Mouse yeah. gets a hit in. Mm. Slashing it, mouse. up, slashing up that commando, putting some damage what? on the board. <laughs> she doesn't appreciate it, as you can imagine. Kaylin, your turn. Ah, uh, well, shoot. I will. Do you have any spells left? I will. I did you know. I think I do. Um, I just don't know that any are especially helpful at the moment. Hmm. Do you have mind um, bullets to drop red. I do have mind bullets. It's telekinesis. Kaylin. <laughs> um, I do indeed have mind bullets. Yeah, let's do a full round magic missile on red. To... Oh dear. <laughs> I will tell you, red looks like they are on death's door. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's not my. They're turn. not good. Yeah, let's not give them another turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. let's... <laughs> no okay, more they turns. Are next on the initiative. No <laughs> more turns for red. Oh no, there will be no turns for red ever again because that is. Let's see, that's twelve damage that you just did. Yeah, that no, is they need twelve to... damage, straight to the face. Uh, if yeah, they wanted is... to live, they should have chosen their friends and associatives. So shit's better. That's true. Not yeah. our fault. No, Kaylin's grumpy. You woke her up out of a dead sleep. Uh, <laughs> trying to, to shoot kill at her. her. <laughs> and my yes, trying to, when you wake me up out of dead sleep, trying to kill me, there there is no stabilize for you. That's true. Goodbye. Yeah. Can't st can't stabilize that. Can't stabilize dead. Yeah. Could Heck. stabilize that. Won't stabilize. Kronk, <laughs> you. Yeah. So, uh, you did nine more damage than she than she had hit points. Uh, so, <laughs> um, uh, as as expected, uh, as soon as her life signs uh, fail uh, and uh, she's still being pelted by two more of your shooting stars, uh, her color activates and she disintegrates into ash. Uh, directly. Look at your life. Look at your choices. And then uh, Kaylin will move up to where she was to you, help you full rounded i'm sorry oh what i did yeah you're right i did full round hey hey all she is is dust in the wind now that's true ah ha ha oh that's no true. turn for you poof oh. she is she is dead 
Id All right. dead? Harold. All right. She's as dead as it gets. All right, this is looking a lot better than it was a, a minute ago. I'll, um... Six seconds I don't know ago. who's gonna... Yeah, yeah, like six to six to 18 seconds ago. I'm gonna leave the smoke cloud so I can get a better angle on this. Hop up on the little couch. And then ready in action to shield whoever gets attacked by blue. Uh... I like to imagine that Harald jumping on the couch is not a thing that is alien to the group. I like to think that that is a thing that... That is just kind of normal. <laughs> or I'll just jump it on the couch again. Yep. Well, at least he's not wearing shoes. I've got That's the true. high ground. At least he's not like... Don't yep, try it, it He loves, uh... What was her name? I don't know. What was her name? Yeah, what was oh, her name? it was like, uh... Remember when Tom Cruise jumped up on the couch? Oh, yeah. Never mind. On some talk oh, show. Oh, uh, Oprah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Oprah. Wow, you forgot oh, Oprah's name, huh? How dare you forget about Oprah. Uh, so, Gert, uh, you watch some magic bull gleam just kind of fly and hit the, the woman who is right on the inside of the window, and uh, she disintegrated. She, like, Obi-Wan. So, uh, you believe that you'd be able to climb in uh, pretty effectively. Cool. Pretty simple athletics check. Cool. Um... Instead, Gur is going to go ahead and try to grapple Blue and pull her out the window. I love it. It's like, oh, uh, this is like, um, I think Hitman or like, uh, like Tom Clancy games. You can, you can just kind of like Splinter Cell, yeah. Splinter Cell, yeah, Splinter Cell. You can just grab people and pull them out. Grab Do it. An I want that. We're doing that. To happen. This is what we're doing. All right. So I, 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 um, I did the math. Uh huh. Work. I'm gonna roll an unarmed strike. We're just gonna take the, uh, the roll though and have the a look. Yeah, the roll, not the damage, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a 25. <laughs> that works. Yeah. <laughs> that totally, like, her, her KAC is 15, so, uh. Yes. <laughs> so, Hell yeah. so, with one arm, kind of hoists himself up, grabs her collar <laughs> with his other arm, and just. <clears throat> I want to point out. That, that Blue did not engage in any window shoving shenanigans. That was her friends. Yeah, but, well, I mean, that's, you know that's the dangers of associating with people. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that are questionable. Gets shoved. Ninden, uh, as he sees Gur doing this, he's like, Oh, hi, Gur. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. So she gets flung out the window. Uh, you may be surprised to learn she does not have anything that will stop her from falling, so... Brutal. Oh, Only the boss gets the jetpack. <laughs> um, and see how well that worked out for her. I, yeah. I imagine uh, their their pre mission briefing. Um, hey, uh, hey, boss, why don't we have jetpacks, huh? Can, we, can I get a jetpack? Why do you get the jetpack? Well, because it's my strategy. I'm gonna do this really cool thing. Look, you're not even gonna go out the window. It's gonna be fine. You don't need a jetpack. <laughs> And I told you. <laughs> she shouts up to the boss as she falls. That's funny because this this uh this person had a uh, uh, 27 hit points left, so you did a significant amount of, of damage effectively by doing that. <laughs> and just because I'm morbid, I just kind of want to see. Uh huh. Oh oh, you want to see how much damage? So uh, 200. Uh, oh, 200 it's 200. Feet. So that's going to be so 20 d6, right? Do you yeah, want to roll here. the damage? Oh, oh Do it. roll I it. I already have. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so she had 27 hit points, so you did massive damage uh, <laughs> easily with that attack. Oh, my gosh. She just okay. splats. So she Aww. splats, but then she disintegrates. Yeah. Uh, so. um. Them slave collars, man. Mm -hmm. Hold on, though. Wouldn't that uh, have done massive damage to the collar as well, and they're therefore broken it oh is that equipment also broken mm. eh? we don't have to get into this she can disintegrate yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's really fine yeah. uh and with the exception of of this lady who is careening oh yes mouse could you could you send that jack back back into here so we can talk to its owner I don't uh it's, it's if there's anything alive still attached to the jetpack mm. 
she's kind of been I, I i kind of programmed it to smack into as many walls as possible but uh yeah sure i can get her corpse back let's, let's find see. out what we got uh, so protocol is, it within, collision is it within 20 feet that's not still yeah it's not actually so i don't think she can reach it nope sorry boss all right does anyone have a lasso <laughs> <laughs> While right, that's so, happening, Nidin is just helping Gur back in. All right. Um, so, uh, the Where snipers, the pronk is security? Yeah, the snipers actually have stopped firing at this point, so that's going to bring us back to... Uh, we're, we're out of combat. You have survived Woo! this oh. harrowing encounter. That was something. Gur. Gur. Gur kind okay. of... Give out, man. You you cut out for that whole thing. Yeah, that whole thing. Yeah. Can we can we like real quickly switch servers? Is that a thing we could do? Oh no, that might help. Sure. I can hear you guys just it's fine again though. Yeah, it's just you. Just, we've been having a problem with you cutting out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. New server. New server, new NSA. New server, who dis? Yeah. <laughs> Seems good so far. Right. Okay, what were you going to uh, say? How am I doing now? You're good. Okay. You're good for now. I was just saying, no, kind of give it was an okay. approval, and then whole reaches for new. Uh, it's uh, real I got like ten percent of that. Yeah. Uh, something to the effect of gives Ninden a nod of approval, holsters his pistol, and reaches um, for Ninden? Yes, that's wow, exactly what I said. Okay, cool. <laughs> Boom. It's it's we, the Gurdon connection, okay? It's we have to, yeah. What yeah. can I tell you? Yeah. All right. All right, so Gur is, is hoisted back into the, the hotel, and everything seems to be normal for now. Oh, uh... Ninden, one more. Uh, uh, I should have said this before, but Ninden leans uh, when he leans over to get Gur. He's like, "Hey, Gur, hey, hey, do you hang out here often?" <laughs> Gur, Gur laughs right along with him. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I've been <laughs> <laughs> almost. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so oh I guess God, I'll... I can't take you to anywhere. <laughs> I guess we'll hop on comms with the hotel and be like, uh, excuse me, about uh, two minutes ago we were attacked by an assassin hit squad and I still don't think I've seen securities. Roughly, what is the response time on assassin hit squad security teams at this hotel? <laughs> uh, oh, so the oh first... order room service while you're there. Also, we'll take a champagne. More free chips. That's what we need. So it's actually only uh, sparkling water. It has to come from space friends. What? Sorry, uh, not water. Uh, uh, my joke's ruined. Continue your story. <laughs> You're told by the uh, the individual on the line that uh, the chief of security has been made aware of the situation, and uh, she's on her way to your room uh, to talk to you. Um, at around the same time, you see that your windows start to close. Uh, so whatever hacker had been keeping them open and keeping mouse from closing them has been dealt with, it would appear. Um, and uh, yeah, you're now you're now safe behind several inches of, of uh, transparent steel uh, composite. Uh, no snipers. <laughs> Ninden goes and uh, puts on some armor. That's the name of the brand. No snipers. No snipe, yeah, no snipe glass. No, um, no snipe glass. Snipe it is getting guitar. warm in my room, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the AC if you guys would just like to maybe role play uh, yourselves after the encounter. I will be right oh, back. Oh. Of course, uh, Gur's actually going to be too long to um, with anybody who's close. It's like almost a, a savage grip. Ninden, what did he say? God oh, yeah. damn it! I don't. I don't. Prong. Know. You, you meant prank. Yeah. No. How how you looking no, there, I'm Ninja? Legit. Uh. Mm, exactly half of my health is gone. Oh. Well, let's let's heal some of that up. I, I could also use 
some uh, some assistance. You can also use some assistance. Um, right. For Ninden, 21. The mouse turns on the fan and uh, it sucks the smoke out of the living room. Then she goes and sits and sits and turns on some cartoons. Oh wait, I have some I have some med kits. I can I can do treat deadly wounds. Uh, right, that's a thing. Um, and then for, uh, and then another one for mouse. Fine, just replace all of my medical skills with magic. Sixteen for mouse. Yay. It's all right. My medical skills have also been replaced. There's. I am now at half um, stamina. Uh, you can't heal stamina with that. So. Oh no, no. Okay, just never mind. Point. Okay, then I'm. Then don't waste a spell on me because I mean I'm only in stamina. Well, oh. Stamina. Well, you'll get that back by going back to bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or just like leaning against the wall and breathe real, real hard for ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that too. Is that how you spend a resolve point? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, it see, seems like I'm not roboting super bad right now, so all I was trying to say is that Gur is a little bit more fascinated with the bodies than he should be. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's a weird observation. <laughs> like, wait, so the, these bodies are largely dust at this point. Do you mean he's fascinated with the dust, or...? Well, yeah, sure. What, what, what used to be the bodies. What used to be, okay, got it. What's up, Gur? These guys are obviously the uh, the brass dragons. Brass dragons. Yeah, thanks, Seth. I don't know who you're talking to. Me neither. Where's that voice coming from? <laughs> God, is that you? No. God. I, th I thought I thought we handled the brass dragons when we, uh, you know, their leader. We did not their leader. We, I, I mean, remember we. We knew that they, that she had some boss, this some general that she had some uh, reverence for. Oh right, she was just a lieutenant. Right, she was working for someone. Hmm. <laughs> that said, um, I uh, I figure we can just like downplay the fact that we knew know these guys when security comes here. For what purpose, boss? To get more chips. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. This is an outrage, after all. In an outrage! <laughs> Everyone look mad. Right. <laughs> face, which is just his normal face, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, uh, very, very briefly, we'll, we'll cut to a scene on the, on the casino floor um, while, while all of this is going on up in your room. Uh, we see a uh, slender uh, swimmer's build uh, possessing uh, Kalo. Believe it or not, he has a swimmer's build uh, in a uh, <gasps> in a uh, uh, mostly black bodysuit. Uh, he has a drink with a straw that's going through like some sort of uh, 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 port configuration on the front of his mask that allows him to sip from it. Uh, and he's just kind of idly drinking as he watches this person on a jetpack spiraling down towards the floor. And uh, as she impacts huh. the ground roughly five feet away from him and then disintegrates, he just goes, hmm. And then we'll cut back to you guys. <laughs> Sunglasses fall from the sky and land on his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the door opens and. Uh, Let's see. Boop -a doo, boop -a doo. You see, uh, flanked by two of the people you know to be security guards, uh, is a Lashunta woman. Uh, she has a portrait. Ooh! Whoa! Ooh! That's a nice Lashunta portrait. Yeah, she pretty. I'm gonna steal that one. <laughs> you can't have it wait you uh, uh you don't know you're not gonna steal it you're going to find it remember right right, right ah right. yes like christopher columbus what are you a hufflepuff <laughs> uh Harald will stomp up what's a hufflepuff angrily. okay ah oh, so, five uh, minutes <laughs> she uh she introduces herself she says I'm very sorry about 
what just happened. My name is Taza. I'm here to figure out what happened and find out how we can make things right for you. Well, first off, uh, Mouse says, from her position in front of the TV watching cartoons, um, you might want to figure out how they were able to access our window. Uh, I still haven't been able to hack the system and figure it out. I'm kind of bitter about that. I'd really like to know. And also how they were able to bring uh, heavy weaponry into this casino, which has a limit of one small arm per person. Oh, yeah, that too. Um, how they were able to break into our doors. Yeah, yeah, fine. How God. they weren't caught while they were tromping through your casino's hallways in full body armor and rifles. <laughs> Gerd's just behind Harald going, yeah, after everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're just flanking him, nodding menacingly. Uh, and also the fact that there's no safety net outside of these windows. <laughs> uh, as your as your uh, questioning uh, escalates, uh, she she looks more and more suspicious, and uh, she goes, "Yes, well, I'd be really happy to talk to you about all of that. Please attend me, and we'll." We'll go to the security office, and I'll show you what we've been able to find. All right. Did we take a ten-minute rest? We. Did I mean, we... you can. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. You can get your stamina back. Watching cartoons has restored uh, Mouse's stamina. There you go. She's also gotten into her armor, but she puts the. Say the word again for me, Seth. What? What? The her. Her mousy pajamas oh, on geez. over. Oh, Tiger. Kigurumi. 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 You know, uh, fun fact, I have a Kigurumi in real life. Of one animal. Yeah, let us know. Uh, evil Godzilla, I believe. I, I think, I think uh, it's called Monster, Monster X, I think is what they call it, so they can avoid uh, uh, copyright problems. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Hold on. Uh, Crow, evil Godzilla... Crow is aware of this Kigurumi. He has seen this Kigurumi. Question, does evil Godzilla different than good Godzilla? Yes. Yeah, because Godzilla's um, not always evil. Sometimes he's fighting the bigger, badder monsters. So they look yeah. the same. I'll Google it. Don't worry. Don't mind me. Uh, all right. Uh, so you don't want, do you want me to make a bluff check to, like, fake indignation and surprise? Or do you want <laughs> Is me to he just... not actually indignant? I, I, would, I wouldn't I mean, blame him for actually being indignant. I, I feel like there's a difference between some... Uh, Body... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn I, I'm just saying that like we we are not surprised that we were attacked in the dead of night, and I right. feel like us not being surprised uh, if they knew that that would make them much less sympathetic. Oh, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I think a bluff would probably be good just to try and indicate that you have no idea why you were attacked, and that I kind of blame them for it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just want our chips. That's pretty good bluff. 27 bluff. Okay. But yes, fine. I will follow you to your security office. Would you all like to follow her too? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. There has oh, yeah. nobody's, nobody's getting separated right now. <laughs> Gur is not in armor? Nope. Still in his PJs. No, oh, fair enough. If I Kaelin gets dressed first. PJs, it would all be right. indecent. So. I'm just going to put up this map just so... You know, uh, we're not in the room anymore, but I don't have like a a, a thing for the security office. That's fine. I'll just put her face big on screen and then that'll be enough. That will be enough. Uh, where is. I do have a sound font for this. There we go. Okay. So she sits you down um, at a desk. Uh, she's in her office, essentially. And uh, she. Uh, shows you various uh, security footage and uh, and some some data on uh, some screens indicating that they've been tracking some bizarre activity uh, since just before you arrived at the Vistrani uh, uh, gaming complex. So it uh, after it looks like somebody has been planning some sort of attack uh, just before you got there. So the timing is very convenient especially considering that you ended up being the target, ultimately. Um, so uh, it looks like uh, 
the hacker that also opened your windows was responsible for the living hologram attacking you when you entered the lounge. I knew it! So I didn't actually, but she's gonna pretend that she did. <laughs> Bluff check, mouse. No. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody That's fine. You don't knows have to roll she it. didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, after presenting that information, uh, she doesn't necessarily look upset, but she looks at you, uh, Harald, since you seem to be taking the initiative in the conversation and raises a round. She goes, you uh, friends with the brass dragons? Definitely not friends. We've, I believe we've, like, run into them previously, but we certainly assumed that we would be safe in, uh, in, in, in this casino. Right. And obviously it was our duty to keep you safe, and obviously we failed in that duty today. So, I would like to ask what it will take for us to make this right. I will appraise her carefully and say... Okay. You have recently come into the possession of a vessel that a... Oh, gosh, what was her race? Uh, her name. I think she's human. Lurala? Lurian! Lurian. Oh, the DM forgot. Elcebo. Good job. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 in, it's, in our, it's in our journal. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, yes. let, me, let me crack Lurian. that open. Journal is four. Huh. You're a journal. Imagine there that. Is. I'll journal you. Wow. Lots of threats happening here. <laughs> You're currently Wrong. in possession of a vessel um, previously owned by the name of... Uh, uh, by, by someone with the name of Lurian Straza. If you were to return that vessel to her, relinquish all ownership of it, and maybe let her know that we are responsible for you taking this action... I think we can make sure that no knowledge of this event uh, gets out. She, she, uh, like the, 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 the idea that a ship would be the compensation, she knows that the ship probably is, is a lot of credits. Uh, so initially the expression that crosses her face is like, well, I don't know about that, chief. But, uh, uh, when you suggest that you'll make sure that nobody knows about what transpired, she kind of looks at you <laughs> like you're from another world, uh, which, you know, not too uncommon in, in Starfinder, but the expression uh, is still is still there. Uh, she goes, It's just an kidding? idiom. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Somebody with a jetpack made a pancake on the floor. You know what I mean. My, po my point is, uh, f fine, maybe you don't. Okay, my point is that we are uh, relatively well known uh, in, uh, on, on, the, on the sun, and we can talk about this or we can refuse to talk about this. And which of those we do is up to you. Okay, look, that's not my kind of call to make. I'm just letting you know uh, what, uh, how this fell through the cracks, and I'm just trying to assess your involvement in it. It seems like you're here on, in good faith, so I don't suspect that you were up to anything bad here. So I'll go ahead and talk to the execs, see what they think about returning that ship as, as a form of payment, and we'll, we'll just see where it goes from there. So All right. if, I can, if I can offer you a security detail outside of your room, we can accommodate you, clean up. We, you're, we already have staff cleaning your room, uh, making it the way it was uh, before the incident. If you'd like to just stay here tonight, uh, we'll have an answer for you in the morning, I'm sure. Harald hmm. uh, looks to his crew, hoping that they give I think, nods. I think we'll need some more chips to amuse ourselves while our room is being cleaned. Oh, well, that's pretty easy. She she has the ability to comp chips on her own. Uh, that, that's like that's not a big deal for her. Uh, she'll she can offer you. Uh, she she tells you she's capped out at a maximum of uh, two thousand chips per. Uh, so you each get an additional two thousand chips. Ha ha! Nice. There you go. Nice. 
putting it in the chips tab. Do it. Chip it up. Okay. Uh, so, any other questions for for Salsa? Chips. Uh, do are you able to tell us uh, exactly how? Well, you mentioned that you'd seen some odd activity from before we arrived here, and that uh, surprises me. Even given our previous contact with the Brass Dragons, what exactly were they doing? Just trying to get access to the systems. Uh, they they managed to get through uh, certain uh, security vulnerabilities that we weren't aware of. Uh, but of course, we didn't know it at the time. Uh, the first time we suspected anything is when our Caseric hologram started attacking innocent people in the in the in the plaza. Which, yeah, we remember that. <laughs> th thank you for helping us with that as well. Of course. I don't suppose your <laughs> casino has had any dealings with the brass dragons in the past. She uh, she kind of straightens up and clears her throat, and she goes, "No, this is a gaming facility. We would have nothing to do with any mercenaries." I see. Sense motive on those of you who have. Oh, okay. yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, I can sense some motives. You want me to sense some motives? I was busy giggling to myself about naming those chips, salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> oh, oh, you. <laughs> it's a 23 from Herald and a 19 from Caitlin. Um, so, you know, uh, even uh, even you knew this before coming here, and uh, Lurian kind of hinted to it a little bit, uh, but it, it's pretty well known that the, the Vistrani family has some sort of criminal dealings, so it's probably accurate that they have dealt with some mercenaries before, but uh, you know, uh, she, she's kind of tight-lipped about it. You suspect maybe they haven't dealt with specifically the Brass Dragons, but you know that there's some sort of involvement with criminal gangs on the archipelago, just based on her reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll use my mind link circlet, Mark 1, to ask mm. the rest of the team if they have any other questions I can deliver. And hearing no. none. I uh, think we're satisfied for now. You said we'd hear word from tomorrow morning, and we can certainly wait till then. She nods. So, uh, if you return uh, to your room, you'll see that uh, there are two uh, Vistrani guards standing outside. Uh, they greet you with a with a nod and open the door for you. Like they're trying to be as as courteous and presentable as they can manage uh, for nice. being security staff. For being uh -huh. security goons. Yeah. Uh, and you'll see that, shockingly, in, in what is honestly a pretty short amount of time, uh, your room has been restored to its original luster. Uh, so it, 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 it's almost as if nobody tried to kill you in here. Almost. Wow. Uh, here, let me, let me get this. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait. Wow. The bodies are still here. Or wow. piles of ash. So yeah, uh, no, you can no, run. Well, it's gone. Completely vacuumed away. <laughs> yeah, mm. vacuum, like, like the staff comes in and just sees some dust on the floor, and they're like, "Huh, they're just." Mm. Huh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, there's a knife in this dust. <laughs> <laughs> there's armor around this dust. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bullet casings. So how can I vacuum these up? They're very oh, good. Oh, I'm sure they're the industrial vacuuming vacuum. up that. Yeah. bullet casings i mean <laughs> like this is the staff of a a ca hotel casino yeah. <laughs> fair point okay so with so they a shady say, uh reputation yeah yeah ah uh, larry it's the it's the bullet casings again get the shop vac <laughs> <laughs> they gotta change they just have to change the the shop the, the head of the vacuum That's all oh do. my god from, i from dust i to just want to bullet there's a bullet setting Oh my god. I just want to follow these two around, like, these people around all day now. Yeah, this is the new game. Uh, it's the, the new show is, is uh, the Vistrani uh, Gaming Complex uh, janitor team. <laughs> the Sounds like it, would, it belongs on, like, the History Channel or something. <laughs> Non-standard custodians coming soon. Um, I mean, there are enough aliens for the History Channel, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Huh? 
I'm not saying you know, it was that aliens. Guy, I mean, aliens. That guy actually went to Ithaca College, where I went to. The That's alien. great. I mean, yeah. Fun fact. I wonder if he's down at Area 51, ready to storm it right now. Let's. Topical. Oh, yeah. We're not storming Area 51 until Topical. September. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> They're just building up. They're building up the forces. September twentieth is when we're storming Area Fifty One. <laughs> Got it. Be there. And be, be there. Shot <laughs> by by armed personnel. No, 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 no. <laughs> there's, there's a whole plan. The Kyles are going to be the meat shield. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Anyway. Yes. The Kyles and your monster energy drinks. Yes. They're going to anyway. be unstoppable. It's great. This is a perfect plan. Uh, so, right. Ninden. Uh, will check in with everybody and make sure they're they're all right and then he will just promptly set up his hammock again i guess it wasn't unset up and uh fall asleep all right harald will go to the bathroom and then like uh climb up onto the counter and then just fall over to sploosh into the three sinks connected by a thread <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my Gross. god. What if I wanted to brush my teeth? <laughs> he just flushes himself down the toilet. I don't know. <laughs> That's an escape plan. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Gur, Gur is going to not feel like sleeping after that and is going to check to see if like the slots are still open or something. Oh, sure. Okay, sure. so we don't have to like to do too much of that. If you just want to like roll and tell me how much I won or lost, <laughs> go ahead. Oh no. Uh, I mean, uh, I'll have to pull up the rules for it. Um, yeah, you don't have to do it this second. We can honestly, we can do it later. Okay, cool. Caleb's going to bed. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we can kind of fast track this, right? So you wake up the next morning, uh, and uh, uh, the PR essentially gets in touch with you and lets you know that uh, the transfer of of the Sun Diver to your possession uh, is is sufficient they would rather not have such a blatant and public assassination attempt uh tarnish their reputation too much so they would like to get you on their side as much as possible uh so uh -huh. they will award you nice. with the sun diver. wow that uh, worked oh, all right i didn't uh, expect that to work <laughs> oh my gosh it actually worked <laughs> i mean uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's cash course. out <laughs> yeah yeah let's cash our chips Indeed. Uh, so they're going to arrange for the transport of that ship uh, to the DCI. Uh, Lurian, you know, also gets in touch and thanks you for, for getting the ship out of the hands of these people who would probably have no idea what to do with it. Uh, and That's probably why they were so willing to give up the ship. So They're uh, like, this is a piece of junk. So she kind of, she also kind of uh, coyly goes. So, so we uh, we own it, right? It's a, it's a joint ownership, right? Uh, right. Yes. I built it. <laughs> you did build it. We did survive an assassination attempt for it. But uh, why don't we say, looking at you know the captain for approval here, uh, why don't we say you just let us use it whenever we need, uh, no questions asked. It's like a timeshare option. Think of it this way. You wouldn't have it if it weren't for us. She, she nods. That's fair. Uh, all right. So I suppose I'll have to teach the knuckleheads of the DCI how to use this thing, huh? Yes, we would be the knuckleheads in question. <laughs> and uh, okay. one of us ain't, ain't so much of a knucklehead at, uh, when it comes to piloting. Um, Gur steps forward and then Kaylin just swiftly steps in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, uh, you know, as as all of this stuff is transpiring, as as the the deals being worked out and stuff over brunch, it turns out that uh, one of the two, uh, one of the other two uh, competitors uh, that is not Darius for the climbing event that is supposed to take place later today uh, dropped out, leaving two open spots. And as a result, both Ninden and Gur get uh, invited uh, to participate. Yes, Ninden needs even more pancakes then. <laughs> Gur and Ninden have a pancake eating contest. Yes. <laughs> and uh, considering the timing of this, I think this might be a good time to take a break. What do you guys think? 
Agreed. I was just about to ask. There you go. Like now Ooh. I want a sandwich. Okay. Yeah, I'm hungry. So we are going to go ahead and find the bathroom in real life. Uh, probably not find the uh, sandwich while we're there. Uh, I think I think that Nick no, might the be sandwich going is in the kitchen. Else. Okay. Bathroom sandwiches not recommended. I, not recommended. Yes, I cannot. Cannot. Recommend cannot that. endorse. Not FDA approved. Probably better than a gas station sandwich, but still, I would avoid it. Um, so we will be back in about 15 minutes, bringing us back uh, at the top of the hour. Don't go anywhere. Our sandwiches. Yes, who's and, back? And such. I made a, I um, made a grilled yeah. cheese and it's delicious. <laughs> I had some Doritos, but they weren't as good as Sun Chips uh, Garden Salsa. Garden Salsa, Obviously. which I, I did see. Uh, you you told you showed us. You you sent us a picture of, of you <laughs> holding a bag of Garden Salsa. I will never ever know what Garden Salsa Sun Chips taste like. <laughs> I'm very just, sorry because they're delicious. Surely... Purely They're made of wheat. <laughs> um, so I, I did bring up the subject of, of, of gas station sandwiches uh, before we left. Have any of you found yourself in a situation so desperate that you needed to consume a gas station sandwich? Yeah, uh, I, I wasn't going to say anything because we were about to go on break. No. But in college, I consumed plenty of gas station sandwiches and they were fine. For there real. was a there was a period where I think you ate almost exclusively from the gas station next door. Oh no, wait, that was your roommate. That's, oh yeah, that was that was Nicholas. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. There was uh, Rogan's. Um, was a it was like a combination gas store pizza place. Uh -huh. thing which sounds weird now that i say it that way they also make no. really tasty sandwiches no no no. we have those um, here we have uh, casey's uh they they sell p they even deliver pizza but they're also a gas station so huh yeah yep, there's, um, there's actually a combination gas station burrito place here interesting in okay Dude, Dude. Those are so good oh oh <laughs> oh yeah so good i got i got one a uh times. There was a, there was a place, it's like Nate's Hot Dog Shack was, was a hot dog place and also a gas station. <laughs> There's a lot of restaurant gas station combinations, which I mean, really um, logically it works, you know? Yeah. Cause like, if you need gas, you might be on a road on a trip. trip. If you're on a road trip, you yeah. definitely want food. Yeah. Um, you want, and you want it, a hot dog that is like one and a half inches in, in radius, not even diameter, I want to say, and is also over a foot long. Thank you, thank you, Nate's Dog Shack. Holy cow, those things were just massive. <laughs> this pot, this uh, this Twitch stream not sponsored by Nate's Dog House. Oh yeah, they they're out of business no. now, so they can't sponsor us. Uh, oh, so, definitely uh, not sponsored them. You know, <laughs> I'm sitting here racking my brain, and I don't think I've ever eaten a gas station. Oh, well, good because that is like one of the most miserable culinary experiences I have ever had. Uh, oh, it's, I we're, mean, we're ta we're talking about soggy bread. Uh, which already, like to you now, is, is like a nightmare. But I, I mean, it's inside of a plastic bag, so it's it's, it's like in a plastic bag. You're not wrong. It's, uh, it's, it's it's like I would call it moist, but not soggy. Moist, but not soggy. Yeah, moist it's, bread. It's definitely yeah. very moist around with, the meat. With, with components meat on that are cold and resembling plastic. Yeah, it, it's miserable. There's no. This flavor. is probably. There is no situation in which you could convince me to eat a gas station sandwich. This is probably cheating. <laughs> Quick Check is a gas station, and they make pretty good sandwiches. But their their sandwiches, you got to get the fresh made sandwiches. Well, I'm talking about I'm talking about the ones about. you find in the in the the drink section. Uh, yeah, in the little the, cooler. Yeah, in the cooler. Um, sure. I do, the, however, quite like, like those cheese witches that they sell at gas stations now. Oh, a cheese witch. Cheese witches, slice yeah. cheese. Okay, but like, meat, they don't cheese. call it a meat witch if it has. Well, meat they're using. On it. No, they they use cheese instead of bread. It's a cheese witch. 
<gasps> oh, <laughs> okay. That's more. That's a big difference. All right. I I'm, like glad, I'm glad I'm not the only red. person. I'm glad I'm not the only person who got combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell stuck in my head when people started talking about combination gas station restaurants. Anyway. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Uh, we've already lost a viewer because of food talk. So let's go. Ahead. No, I think we gained one. Like the Starfinder. <laughs> I think we gained one. I'm away. seeing nine. It was eight a second ago. Uh, I am seeing eight. eight, and it was nine a second ago. My God. So. Yeah. Yeah, I also see eight. <laughs> oh, we got some somebody. Somebody in the audience has mirror image on. That's the only explanation. Mm. I see. I blame so Patrick. Members. <laughs> All right. I... So let's go ahead and get back to it. Um, so when we left off, uh, uh, some arrangement had been made. Uh, you're you're definitely super co-owners of of the of the Sun Diaper. It's definitely not a vehicle that you now fully possess. Uh, it is being transferred over to the DCI's uh, hangar, probably on Don Shore, honestly, uh, because they don't have room for it at the museum. Um, the uh, climbing competition is happening later tonight. Is there anything else that anyone would like to do before that? Eat a whole Eat. bunch of carbs before the climbing competition. Right. But mechanically, not really. I'm going to get a giant hecking omelet. Mm. The crew eats. <laughs> We have, <laughs> and we do have thirty thousand ships. Should I bet them all at the racetrack? No. Oh God, no. <laughs> can you Just bet them on us? Though? Well, that one oh, time. Oh, oh, can we bet them all on Ninden? <laughs> Don't bet Ow. them on me. Gers probably got more something. I don't know. Ger didn't it's make athletics. a very strong show yesterday. <laughs> Ger made an incredibly strong strong show. I'll have you know. Yeah, he, he hung off with one arm and he flexed <laughs> and he kissed his bicep. <laughs> and then just I did the didn't... same. I don't know. It, you know, the, the feminist in me just sort of wanted to vomit. <laughs> wow. Well, Sorry. actually... Um, wow. Yo, wow. You... Sorry, I, I joke. I kid. Uh, Fedora, Fedora tipped. I'm sorry, it's a trilby named Fedora. I... I... I want to. I want to make a oh show or something like that. The the trilby named Fedora. Like I, I would love to have like some sort of property. Is uh, this like that. a race car named Desire? Yeah, like that. Uh, like that. Um. All right. So. <laughs> Hashtag yeah, if, triggered. If we don't want to do anything, uh, we can just just get straight to the the competition. If you like. Bring it. All right. Yeah. You're, you're Bring it. Being a little weird. <laughs> so there's plenty of chalk. For you guys to dust your your hands with, you know, you're 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 given with the you're given the appropriate gear, uh, you're you're given uh, a rundown of the rules. Uh, they're pretty simple. Whoever climbs the fastest uh, within the allotted amount of time is the winner. Uh, so whoever is the highest uh, by the end of it will win. Um, and uh, you know that this is going to be broadcast throughout the packed worlds. So you're going to be viewed on a camera, not only in the archipelago, but uh, possibly as far out as Eox, maybe farther. Uh, depends on who's watching. So I don't think, I don't think anyone, us. I don't think uh, anyone on Eox will watch unless someone falls and nice. dies. Yeah, I, I think probably on Eox, like they probably have like some sort of like sensationalist station. Like they have their own version of the broadcast where they're like, one m will fall and die. Who will it be? <laughs> like they're like trying to get people to watch. It's like they, they, this is incredibly dangerous. Someone could su super totally die. And if they no add one does, stuff in and post. And if no yeah. one does, yeah, they just do a CGI death. <laughs> like a like the, the promo. The promo involves like like escalating string. Like din 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 din. It shows somebody hanging, and you hear some voice actor, some ADR going, "Uh oh, I'm gonna fall." And then it cuts <laughs> to like the title screen. <laughs> no, I, ma I imagine they're like, all oh, the grips are lined with razor blades. And then they add CGI blood. <laughs> oh, I hate climbing these razor blades. <laughs> like you hear somebody say. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are awful. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, That's the ox, baby. You, uh, 
you see Darius getting ready over in her own corner. She's apparently received this talk many of time, many a time. Like she, she's not going to listen to anybody telling her how to climb because she's done it all. Uh, but she, she seems uh, like she's a little bored with this whole thing. But uh, seeing you two, she, she gives a very uh, courteous nod. Uh, she's very polite and respectful uh, before the competition begins. And then there's some rando who's going to be climbing also. Whatever. Who cares about them? Is his name Rando Calrissian? No, I'm not okay. gonna let you have that. Uh, what are um, the odds on uh, on Gur and Ninden? So er- <laughs> everybody who enters has to spend a thousand credits to enter. Um, a thousand <laughs> chips or a thousand credits? Wow. Thousand, sorry, a thousand chips. Uh, okay. And uh, chips are easier to come by, so you know. Done. Yeah. Uh, so a thousand chips uh, to enter and. Uh, the first place winner will get 8,000 chips, uh, second place will get 1,000 chips back, and then third and fourth will get that goose egg. So, you get nothing! nothing. Yes. Goose <laughs> Big fat goose egg. Uh, they're not taking so, bets? No, they're not doing bets. I mean, there might be pools elsewhere that are allowing you to bet, but I- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest with you. You're already, you have more credits than you're supposed to <laughs> currently in this venture. <laughs> and I'm not going to find a way to enable you to bust this even more. So, oh, I just want to bust things, Seth. I know. Why do you know, let me break things? He Everyone just wants to know. buy a printing press. You know what this is like? I it's just like, want to um, buy a printing press. <laughs> this is like Gorenlagen uh, with the spiral thing where it's just humanity has to be kept in check. Spoilers for Gurren Lagann. I've um, never seen it. Oh, it's really I, good. I, I tuned in and I saw robots throwing galaxies at each other like ninja stars and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm but good. it takes a while to get there. It, oh, it, okay. does, it does get pretty ridiculous, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's a it's, it's a good movie. show. It's good. Yeah. It's good. So All anyways, right. about this climbing competition. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Uh, either of you have any words for each other or the competition before it starts? Gur is just gonna, um, you know, go around to the competition and just kind of stare them all down, but after being intimidating, he kind of just nods in approval at them. Except for the rando guy, he just kind of gives him one of those side eyes. (laughs) Um, Spits in his direction when he's not looking. Yeah, um, but (laughs) but he goes up to to Ninden and he gives him a a good firm handshake. He says, "Good, good luck, bud. We got this. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you at the top. Um, and Ninden in turn goes around and uh, gives everybody, you know, a handshake. Checks in, says, "How's it going? How are you feeling today?" Etc. Etc. <laughs> Sizing up the competition, but also still being unfailingly polite. Right. Okay. So, uh, as the moment arrives. Uh, uh, you're not given any safety gear, but you the, like like there's there's not a line secured to you uh, to add just like an element of tension to it. But you know that there's a net that will catch you if you fall. So it, you, you're not in danger. It just kind of looks like you are. Uh, unlike makes, makes unlike like... for people who might fall out of their hotel windows. Right. Yeah. Listen, listen, man. I was free freely dangling above a 200 foot drop. This mountain's fine. Yeah. He was almost. <laughs> Free falling. <laughs> God, do I need to start it doing music intros? Free balling. Do I need to start doing music intros like Cosmic Crit? That would have been yes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't been writing like the intro intros. It hasn't really you seemed know, appropriate. I don't think like a two-minute intro of me waxing poetic would really do Ninden dangling from the air justice. So I, I decided not no. to write an intro for this one. Wait, Believe so it or not. What were you singing right before we started today? It was uh, something. Oh, it was uh, uh, the the Goldfinger. Yeah, um, yeah, but, Goldfinger. But something else. Something else. Alternate Goldfinger. Anyway, yes. so uh, you you have a you have a crowd gathering. Uh, the lighting of the facility alters to 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 have the spotlights fall down onto these these four individual climbing walls. Um, here, let me. Swap us over to the uh, gaming complex so we can kind of remember where the climbing competition is. It's down here in A4. Uh, 
kind of a weird interpretation of it. I imagine that these are all the seats and this is the wall itself. Uh, and you see that these four strips of wall all start to take the shape. As we indicated, they were they're made by just an impossible number of microfibers that are uh, able to be programmed to take the shape of any rock face. And all four of them take the exact same shape, which makes sure that nobody has an advantage over anybody else. Um, the, the cameras are locked on. Uh, the announcer uh, is uh, calling out to everyone that the competition is about to begin. Uh, begin. And uh, then the music starts. So the way that this is going to work is... Oh yeah, Gert can climb to this. <laughs> <laughs> the way this is going to work is everyone, every round, uh, you have to make an athletics check. And at the end, the person with the highest number of successes is going to win. I will warn you that the in the NPC that they have created, uh, who's really good at climbing, is extremely good at climbing. So... <laughs> Yeah, Let's yeah, we get it plus twenty five. What? No. What? Uh, what? What race? It's not twenty five. It's not twenty five. Oh, she's a Kasathan, so she's got lots oh. of arms. Yeah, and uh, what a racial bonus Races. to athletics checks, I think. Um, That's probably something. That's Should probably have been a skater. Uh, yeah. So, girl, right. and well, then right. can I get an athletics check, please? Yeah, buddy. In sync. <laughs> we both got a twenty eight. Yeah, so we got a 28 from Gur and Ninden, which is, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> we just uh, we just look at each other to start, nod in sync, and both jump onto the wall at the exact same place at the exact same time and just start going like mirror. So, yeah, the, uh, you, you, the people watch as both Ninden and Gur take almost the exact same path up the rock face, um, like just instinctively. Uh, if you cast a glance over at Darius, you can see that uh, uh, she apparently was a little lackluster in her start, uh, and you see that she is maybe like five feet, ten feet below both of you, and she looks over uh, a little surprised. Honestly, you think that she might not be um, she might not be used to people presenting any kind of a challenge. So uh, <laughs> she's never met a PC before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the ran the rando is like the rando is like twenty feet below you guys. Like, what is what is he even doing? <laughs> who who knows? Uh, so that will bring us to round two. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Oh, can oh my oh my lord! I got uh, another twenty eight. Yeah, Ooh. I got a twenty two. Okay. Rando steps up. Still still doing worse than everyone else. Good job, Rando. Uh, yeah, so uh, Gur, who is apparently uh, uh, <laughs> apparently fired up by this, uh, manages to start taking the lead, uh, leaving both Ninden a little bit behind him and Darius uh, still not quite able to catch up. Rando, he, you know, he's there. He's also there. Uh, let's go ahead and go with... Oh, no. Uh, go ahead and go with round, uh, round three. Oh, I'm, I'm flagging. I got a 15. Okay. I have um, got a 30. Yes. So Gur got a 30. I will let you know that Darius rolled a natural 20. So. <laughs> uh, oh, God. So did the rando. I just rolled two 20s in a row, you guys. Okay, get well, Pax. Yeah, what no, get him out of the way before we have any uh, more. Please. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Ninden uh, seems to be kind of lost uh trying to find a path up uh Gur just on a on a on a tear but you both see as darius uh out of some sort of frustration uh she finds a particular outcropping and then she grabs it with two of her arms and does a swing uh launching herself a good like 10 feet with just a swing upwards and then uses the momentum Oop. to gain some extra some extra speed catching up with Gur, uh almost neck and neck now uh, so let's go with round four. Yeah, my luck was well. Over that there. that tracks. I, I got, got a nat one. Ooh, it's starting to look a little desperate. Um, actually, in that case, uh, Minden, can I get a uh, reflex save? 
He gets swallowed up by the CGI lava pool. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna fall! And oh yeah, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine. It's All 24 right. on the reflex. Uh, 26, because it's a fear effect. I'm joking. Uh, anyway. Uh, I don't have a fear of heights. Oh yeah, Darius... Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, Darius uh, starts... Uh, marking herself as a champion, uh, demonstrating uh, clear ability here. Um, so, it's looking pretty close, you guys. Let's move on to round five. Oh, God, another 20. I need to cut that out. <laughs> I really gotta stop. <laughs> Why are we even right. trying? <laughs> okay. It's okay, because she's only just one step ahead of you guys, so... It's it's not complete a complete loss yet, but uh, at, at it's least. sure making for some good television right now. <laughs> that's at for least, sure. Mm, <laughs> at least we're back in sync. Then, then. All right. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. That's Both I'm happy. Twenty one. Kind of uh, oh. This is the time where I roll a nat twenty though. Ready? Do it. Ah, uh, no, not oh, a nat no. twenty. Twenty five on the check. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um. Okay, Nindan gaining some ground, managed to outdo, uh, managed to outdo the others in this particular round. Catching up, it's it's hard to say who's going to win at this point. Everyone's kind of been doing well in sprints, uh, so who knows? Let's go on to round. This is round seven. Yes. Yeah. Damn it. Oh no, Ninja! It's another net one. <laughs> another reflex save if you could, please. Uh, of course I roll well on those. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you're got a 30. A Gertie, if you will. Uh, Gertie all right. 30. Gertie 30. Gertie, Gertie right. 30. All right, we're moving on to round eight. Oh no! Uh, Darius, perhaps a little overzealous, uh, takes another risky move and it does not pay off. You see her hanging off by one hand, um, and she scrambles to, to reconnect. I got a 27. I got a 38, or a 28, rather. Okay. No, it's a 38. It's a 38. 38. That's not a 38. I can see the numbers. Okay. Round nine, time is almost up. You can start to hear the uh, timer beep at this point. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 28. It's starting to look like, at this point, Gurr might come out on top. It's, it's looking good for him. Okay. And yeah, you, you can hear it. It's it's counting down. You know that you have roughly 30 seconds left, so let's make this last one count. <laughs> we both got a 24. 24, ending it in sync. Da Darius also got a 24. Let's see what Rando gets. <laughs> oh, Rando actually did better. Rando got a 28. <laughs> Good job, Rando. <laughs> He doesn't okay. appreciate it. He's bad at. He thought my, his, I thought his back was turned, but he's. Uh, All right, the uh, the klaxons go off, and you hear uh, you hear the announcer calling out uh, the winner. I am going to go ahead and really quickly <laughs> tally here. Let's see. Please hold for math. Yes, math is happening. Should math just use the spreadsheet. Guys. Meanwhile, have, uh, what are the rest of the crew doing as we watch like this battle of the the brawn? <gasps> as we watch the boys. Ah. I just I just like to imagine that like um, Mouse is sort of slurping like something and then glances up, but then also at her phone and back and forth. <laughs> Harald turned both of his hands into those big foam pointy things. 
<laughs> one says Ninden, one says Gur. Yeah. <laughs> they both oh, say it. number one. Yeah, both of them are yeah. number one. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this Mario Party style, um, and, and oh. reveal who the winner is uh, in reverse. In fourth place is Rando. Third place, Ninden. In second oh. place, Darius. Gur takes it. He oh. <laughs> the timer. Uh, air horns going off. <laughs> And at this point, Fire. ropes come down that you can attach to your uh, to your climbing gear so that you can rappel back down uh, with ease, or just or just hang, and just slowly yeah. get lowered down to the ground as the cameras watch. Um, of course, Gur being extra like he is, will go ahead and just dive off, knowing there's nets to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. One. No, so they turned off the nets at the end of credits, it. Right. And then you got 8,000 back, so it's a gain of 6,000 credits. Uh, sorry, chips. Chips. You know, I contributed! Chips. Yeah! I'm not a net loss! <laughs> <laughs> Take uh, that, You're never Dad. a net loss in my heart. Oh. Gur blushes. <laughs> at the end of it, uh... uh uh, Darius uh, appearing. Uh, it, it takes her roughly three seconds uh, to process that she lost, and she gets over it. She, it's like she she looks somewhere where there is nothing to see, exhales, and then uh, stands up tall and comes over to shake your hand, Gur. Uh, Gur Gur will graciously shake her hand, but doesn't know which one to take because there's she, four no. She offers. She, oh, she, oh, okay. She, yeah, she, she's got she's got she's got three hands at her side. Uh, two two of them crossed, one on her hip, and then ah, one extended yes. to you. <clears throat> ah, we, you're a you're a real good climber. Good 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 game. Good game. Uh, you imagine you can hear her smirking behind her mask. She goes, "I wish I knew I should have taken you seriously from the start." Oh, uh, people usually don't. That's that's the problem. Hmm. Gotta... Well, For everyone but us. Yeah, good game, kid. She uh, she gives you a pat, and then she heads off to her her green room behind the scenes. Gur, you were amazing. That was awesome. Great work, Gur. Yeah, Gur well leans done. back to the the party, and he's like, "Was she supposed to be somebody I recognized?" <laughs> Don't worry about it, Gur. I think <laughs> he doesn't have culture, so he doesn't know rock climbers. Of course. No, he didn't. He didn't make that check. Remember, no, he did not did make not, that check. Did not make that check. <laughs> I think it's time to cash out. Okay, so whatever your chip total is, uh, y you can cash it out at twenty five percent of the no the amount as credits. So I know that's probably absurdly high at this point. Ooh, I gave yeah. you way too much money, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> It's a show. <laughs> That's all right. Round up or down. Okay. It's all made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> Nine, four, eight, spin. That's um, a good amount of credits. Yeah, loot. we can deal. Loot, we can loot, deal. Loot. We'll deal we later. Deal with yeah. that later. That's that's equipment stuff. Uh, mostly by my degree, uh, decree, I have I have indicated that we should not do equipment stuff on the show. Uh, so, just go ahead and avoid that. We do have a tendency hmm? to take some time discussing, for sure. If, oh, yeah. if the past is oh, any yeah. indicator. Okay. Right. But uh, if you'd like us to do a show where we talk about the loot, <laughs> yeah, just let us know. Post show. Hours about his loot ideas. <laughs> we'll do it on like a Wednesday, so that it's you know, uh, on a different time slot for affiliate okay. stuff. And then Seth just likes to show up. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> There we go. You don't have to have me here. All right. All right. We will so, make our way to DCI. Oh, I, I see you're already yeah. there on it. I am working with our on new it. ship. Okay. So uh, through the following week uh, or so, uh, Nib and a small team of technicians from the DCI work with Lurian to refit the Sun Diver. Um, 
throughout the week, you're called into various briefings that where Lurian goes through the operations of the vessel, teaching you the basics, then providing more specialized information for each of you when she comes to understand your roles on the vessel, uh, what you can provide, basically. Um, Neat. Uh, Niv explains to you that the DCI is excited to have a field team uh, again and is willing to pay you handsomely for your expedition. Uh, she seeks, uh, she's uh, looking for volunteers to run the recording equipment uh, during the trip. Uh, whoever might want to be the cameraman. If you can strap it to my head, I don't mind, but... Uh... Gur would also be interested in this. Will it require any skill checks? Oh no, it's you know it's it's got stabilizers. It's it's a handy cam. It's 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 easy. Hmm. I feel like I'm not usually in the thick of things, so maybe I should do it. Yeah, let's. <laughs> it'll it'll give you something to do with your move action. Yeah, the move action. You, you've got a good eye, Captain. I think you should be in charge of the camera. You, oh, you get a new you. action you can take as a move action. It's record this this flame. <laughs> you know. So <laughs> ah, you caught yourself. Uh, well yes, I did. <laughs> You're so proud. <laughs> I mean prank. <laughs> I mean prank. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, she'll 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 take some extra time showing Harold how to use uh, the camera, the microphone, and some monitoring sensors and recorders that are attached to it, uh, so he knows what some of the readings mean, etc. Um, and uh, they have set he a date. About light and color balancing. Yes. Uh, and promptly ignores all of it. Uh, so they monitor more colors is better. The, the weather pattern. Sorry, go ahead. More colors is always better. Yeah, the saturation turned all the way up. Like I mean, seven. if we look at yeah, if we look at uh, Harold's outfits, we know how he feels about saturation. <laughs> yeah, it, and we don't have videos, like that, so our that, viewers that. cannot see me cringing as you say these things. <laughs> Nick, you're looking at me. Let me let me spell it out uh, how I picture it. That's the blown out, like oversaturated colors of the '90s on anything edgy. <laughs> <laughs> pitch <I'm> screaming. <laughs> I think I think she turned into a tea kettle. Oh my god, is Caitlin an Astrozoan? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, no, that was uh, our the, dead son's game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the. The uh, DCI monitors the weather patterns inside the sun and finds an ideal date for you to begin your trip. Um, so with that comes a sense of excitement for you all, but perhaps some Ooh. anxiety. Uh, you have all of Lurian's assertions that the sun diver will work as indicated, and the data from the tests that you've been running inside of the hangar and uh, uh, from your very brief excursions uh, that you're actually able to take it out of the archipelago and into the sun just for some short dives to see how it works. And uh, it seems to work just fine. Um, seems to. Yeah. I'm sure uh, nothing will go wrong. It's at least nothing as capable of withstanding direct exposure to the sun, if not more so than the sun skimmers that are owned by the Church of Saren Ray. So uh, all the assurance in the world uh, might not help everyone, though. Uh, if there are any desires to reach out to anyone or anything anyone would like to do before they go on this trip. Is anybody feeling particularly anxious about making this pioneering journey uh, deeper into the sun than anyone else has ever gone before? Ninden Not particularly. Would... <laughs> Ninden would probably uh, end up, wind up talking to Tendon about it as he, he probably called Tendon to say, hey, did you, uh, did you see the latest from the well, Vistrani uh, Casino? The climbing contest? I got third place. My friend got first. It was awesome. Blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, you know, he would he would go on like, so we're uh, kind of going into the sun uh, in a spaceship. So uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, this could also be a voicemail if we don't want yeah, <laughs> talking to him. But uh, anyway, uh, I, uh, I hope your festival went well. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Love you, brother. Bye. Oh. Beep. Uh, he would, uh, he would probably indicate that the festival is ongoing, and, uh, unfortunately the, uh, guest that has arrived ended up being quite more of a handful than he uh, anticipated, <laughs> so. Uh, throwing the spirit fates around again. Yeah, you know. 
<laughs> he was just trying to demonstrate uh, the use of the weapon, rolled another natural one, uh, drew from the crit fail deck. Uh, the results were messy. Anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Mouse isn't particularly worried, but um, it is like her mom's uh, birthday, like mm. in a week or so while she'll be on in the sun. And she's like, ah, well, I probably should, you know, at least give, leave a message for her. Um, all right, serendipity? Yes, Mouse Galini? Call mom. Which mom would you like? I've got mom, home, mom, office, mom. I just, just call her number. Calling. And Mouse is like, don't pick up, don't pick up, don't pick up. Hi, you've reached the, you have reached the voicemail box of Doctor. Well, mom's name. Yeah, of, of Dr. Haversack. Leave a message. Good save. Good save. Good save. Good save. Yeah, just push that one off. <laughs> we'll figure out that name later. Leave a sufficiently detailed message. Beep. Hi, Mom. I always forget how warm and fuzzy your home message, voice message sounds compared to your work message. <laughs> um, anyhow, just, uh, just let you know that, uh, well, um, I mean, it's not a big deal, but, uh, a couple of friends and I are going on a trip to the sun. I know it's not what you would probably have wanted me to be doing. I know when we discussed my career plan that at this stage I was supposed to be applying for my third promotion by now. But look, things don't always go according to a timeline and um but yeah, gonna gonna explore the sun. I swear it ties into plans for the future. I just can't talk about it right now. Okay, bye. Also, happy birthday. Beep. Doesn't doesn't close off with a second goodbye after realizing that she <laughs> she she wished a happy birthday after saying goodbye. Mom would want it that. <laughs> I'm definitely the sort of person who will say goodbye and then like remember something, and then say goodbye again, but for real this time. Like that 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 that's my style. Uh, but you know. It's just me. Does anybody else have anything they would like to take care of? Harald will let his tailor know that he won't be in for a while. Alright. I uh, think... I think Ger, he doesn't really have many connections, but he might try and reach out to his... Um, his find out more about his uh, mother's whereabouts and situation one last time before he goes. Oh, gotcha. Um, so, uh, she, you can do some digging. Uh, you probably with a little bit of Mouse's help, I imagine. Um, oh, absolutely. So yeah, sure. You, you, you can you can get into some records that indicate. Uh, you, you see, like looking up the Gortooth family, you have various relatives that are uh, indentured servants. Uh, you see that you you were counted amongst them at, at one point as well. Um, you see, sometime before your uh, your contract was uh, terminated, uh, that your mother was was her contract was also terminated. But it, it's not saying that she is a free person. Uh, there's some sort of indication that maybe she was transferred uh, and changed from a indentured servant into maybe an asset. Is more of what they consider her now. So. Uh, her status has changed in some way, and you're not really certain what that could mean. Gur ponders this long Ooh, and, and acid. deeply. He I stays up. Yeah, neither does Gur. Uh, this is this is concerning information, Mouse. I, I'm going to need to think about this. And he loses a lot of sleep about it. I'm sure over the next week before he does sun dive. Sure. Kaylin is much too stubborn 
to go home. Not gonna do it. Not yet, so, anyway. I mean, Dad didn't stop them from trying to kill me. Did I'm you a know? little bit upset. I can I understand wanting to so. hold a bit of a grudge. <laughs> Kaylin's totally holding a grudge. Um, but she'll she'll spend her time going over like every inch of the sun diver. Um, oh yeah. And just you know, familiarizing her herself with with the ship and all the controls, and making sure she sort of knows how everything works. Um, mm -hmm. I'm probably hanging out with um, Lorian, honestly. Oh sure. As a, uh, as I can. Uh, I can actually show you guys here real quick. This is actually what the ship looks like. Um, Ooh. So you can become more familiar with it in the visuals. Ooh. That is super cool. Um, those gaudy colors will, sorry, are, those colors are not gaudy enough. Um, as you and Lurian are exploring the ship and figuring out, you find me directing it, you find uh, Harald directing a team of painters, coloring it with <laughs> heat, re with highly heat resistant colored foam. <laughs> Uh, we'll see if that stays on the ship. <laughs> what yeah, colors are, are we going off with? off instantly. What uh, colors are we going with here? Just a rainbow. A rainbow of colors. I, I'm feeling like a maroon, a okay. goldenrod. Um, okay, I'm liking these colors. Let's see. A sea foam. And... Uh, look, look, we're just... I'm trying to think about what would Harald pick. Uh -huh. Neon all green. Space Lisa Frank. Neon green, like puke <laughs> green, like yeah. like glow stick green, just on top of it. Yep, all right, you got it. It looks it looks gaudy now. So uh, gaudy. Something something that Kaylin might not be happy about, but uh, the vessel itself is pretty impressive. Um, it every aspect of the space inside of it is utilized uh, just as much as it needs to be. It is a very pragmatic vessel, um, and. Uh, through through your observations, and I'm sure that uh, Gur maybe to distract himself from the disturbing news he's he's pondering about, and uh, Mouse just because she's Mouse probably also pouring over the vessel and its operation. Oh, um, totally! Like the instant absolutely. they got there, there was like as soon as they got to the ship in the yard, mm -hmm. like there was a moment where uh, Mouse and Gur just kind of looked at each other and looked at the ship. And looked at each other, and then raced for each other for it, you know, and like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I li I'd like to point out that Crow suggested that uh, uh, Herald is uh, Lisa Frank, but in space. Yeah, we saw. Accurate. He might be. Yeah. Accurate. Accurate. Um, okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, you you have all of the reassurances that this vessel can do exactly what Lorian says it can do. I'm telling you, you don't you it don't have to better. worry necessarily about it. <laughs> Got it. I'm convinced. Oh yeah. Um, I yeah, mean, so... Harald is almost certainly convinced. Can you voice Harald being convinced for us, just because it? I'm it, convinced. It, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. There, there is um, one other thing Gur would like to do sure. um, during this weeks long time that we have. Mm -hmm. Um because I just did the math and he has exactly enough credits. Oh, okay. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take them and he's gonna turn them into UPBs and he's gonna be working on something. Okay. Um, that may or may not, probably won't come out this game. No, it's probably a next episode sort of situation. <laughs> but you notice Gur is absent a little bit more than usual again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm sure we do all of our shopping and, you know, eat at our favorite noodle place again. Oh yeah, those noodles. A couple more times. We take Lurian just... to our our favorite noodle place. Well, also, is is Lurian invited to the Burger Club? Yeah, yeah. Oh sweet, she's in the Inner Sanctum now. But we'll we don't. But we don't tell club. her what we're actually doing in the sun. <laughs> we still well, don't tell this her point, about a super secret. No, mission. at this point, uh, <laughs> she 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 is effectively kind of a member of both organizations. So. You suspect that she's been led on to to what what this vessel is being used for All at right. this point. We yeah, we agree good. to let her join Burger Club, but she will not be granted the rank of master. You, you don't let her have like one condiment that she wants. 
How can she oh, just no, be in the club and not be a master? Operate. No, she just can't master. operate. Oh, it's an outrage. Cannot operate the like, uh, heckin' food processor or food creator, culinary so, generator. That's what it's actually. Yeah, she's not allowed to open her own synthesizer. dojo. Synthesizer. Synthesizer. Thank like, you. Yeah, yeah. So you ask her what she wants on her burger, and she's like, she's like, oh, lettuce, uh, mayonnaise, cheese, and uh, onions, and then like you give it to her with with lettuce, mayonnaise, and cheese, but no onions, and she's like, oh, the onions are missing, and you're like, yeah. Oh, are. oh you're a novice. That's you cannot a weird handle flex, that okay. many toppings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't get onions yet. You can't. Bur you're not ready for onions. Burger Squire. <laughs> Burger <laughs> Squire. <laughs> okay. Um, so it sounds like everybody's got the, their their things that they're doing. Um, I imagine people are sleeping. There's some sleeping happening. Um, Not much. No. <laughs> no sleep. I, I said some. Try I said read. some sleeping. Okay. Linden is sleeping a whole bunch. <laughs> he's trying to make up for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, he's like, don't worry, I'll sleep for you. <laughs> Come because on, the guys, ship would is... you please sleep? <laughs> because the ship you is so efficient. You got sleep debt. I'm, I'm going to help pay it off. <laughs> oh my god, if that's how it worked, I would pay somebody to sleep Oh yeah. Me. Like pay a sleeper right? for sure, because then I would spend I would my time. I would love to be that sleeper. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, I would take that job for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. All right. Um, however, uh, everyone everyone sleeps normally, you know, every, you know, as you as you would normally sleep. But for one of you, sleep happens a little differently one night. Uh, that individual is Kaylin. Hmm? What? So, Caitlin. Why? Uh, one night, uh, as you fall asleep, or you suspect, you know, it's it, you, you know when you arrive in a dream, you 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 don't have the conscious feeling that you've fallen asleep, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, you do wake up and you are in your house, the one that you grew up in. Uh, you look around your room, uh, you, you get up and you take in something of a living snapshot of your past. Um, some old uh, flatware or decorations that you remember from a long time ago, uh, just kind of around you in your room. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, uh, you start to hear some sounds from the living room uh, that kind of kickstart an exact memory. Um, it, it's, 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 this is a day that has happened to you in the past. Uh, this morning, you remember both of your parents were home rather than at work, and you had just finished primary school. Um, you can smell some kind of delicious arrangement from the kitchen, and you remember you were going to meet up with a few of your friends later today. Um, you round the corner from your room and start to approach the living room. Uh, you can see the back of your dad's head in the chair that he's sitting in and you start to sneak up behind him in order to surprise him. Uh, you have a vague recollection of him acting surprised and then picking you up to swing you around, uh, your mother laughing from the kitchen. You remember that that's how it, it went before, and this is what you're expecting to happen. Uh, this time, however... As you enter the open space of the living room, your eyes are drawn to the wide window to your right. Looking outside, you can see the rest of Don Shore from your high-rise apartment. Uh, something seems off this time. From the top of the dome, near the peak of the Radiant Cathedral, you can see some strange red energy swirling down against the dome. It coalesces and it spreads against the protective barrier before it pierces through. With disturbing speed, it wraps up the cathedral like a serpent and sneering it and its various buttresses, spires, and outcroppings before it reaches the streets. Here it splits, malevolent waves of red, shadowy energy spilling between the buildings below you, and you start to hear the screams of people uh, reaching you from, from below. You try to warn your parents, but you can't make any sound. You start to run to reach your father, but the front door bursts open.
From here, a squealing cacophony of malicious rage floods into your home and overtakes all of you in an instant. You're enveloped in darkness, the sound suddenly falling silent. And then you wake up in this moment and you catch a glimpse. You see a platform. It's one that you recognize. It's from one of your favorite parks located near the edge of Donshore. This spot in particular was one that you would escape to sometimes in order to get your thoughts in order, uh, gazing out into the fiery abyss. You're there now, but you're not alone. And you can feel someone who is familiar, but also a stranger. You feel like they're expecting you. But just as you start to turn to look, you wake up. What? Weird. Very, very weird. So yeah. Just then, That's... Mouse bursts in through the door. Hey, Kaylin. Uh, we're gonna have pancakes. How many pancakes do you want? Like orders like of magnitude. A, like a uh, like a dozen. Okay. Oh goodness. Pulls herself out of bed and goes back to the kitchen with Mouse. I right. get here quick before uh, Ninden eats all of them again, and we have to send out for more back. I mean, the, the synthesizer can always make more. Not always. This isn't Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, we've got to put in something. Yeah, take UPB. Well, everyone, today's the day. <laughs> Who's ready to sun dive? The name of the episode. Uh, it ended at sun, and I was very confused. Yeah, yeah uh, it was a long pause. I, I was expecting pretty much anything like sunbathe. No, I was trying to be descriptive. It was it was a pregnant pause for sure. Yeah. Using those films. Kind films. of unsettling. Well, sorry. I'll I'll try to talk faster next time. No, I. Then again. That's yeah, then again, Captain, I, I I don't know if you can do not unsettling. <laughs> you. I can do unsettling what I want to. We should end the episode here. <laughs> no. no! This Aww. isn't the end of the episode, you dork. Oh, oh, okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I end the episode. Only I have that power. I'm, I'm sorry, I misread all the signs. Well... I indicated that Kaylin saw a place that was familiar to her uh, uh, in her dream, and that somebody, it seems like somebody was waiting there. I dropped the breadcrumb. I don't know what else you want from me. Bread it, is a, it is a breadcrumb. <laughs> <sighs> you don't have to do anything with it. I'm just leaving it there. You're just leaving it there? Yeah, I'm just like, you know, just, I just, I, 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 like, I, like, I, like, I'm just going to leave this ice cream here on the counter where you no, can no. look at it. Like, I point um, at the crumb and I say, I just dropped that crumb. You don't have to do it. And I lean down and I push it towards you like an inch. You don't have to do it. <laughs> you know, Scoots it a little closer. <laughs> a little bit looks at player, looks at crumb, looks at player again. <laughs> looks at, like, like, I, like, I hold my hand up, like, oh, look at what I'm doing with my hand. And I, like, push it with my foot. And I'm like, oh, I look, the crumb I moved. Oh, wow. How weird. Oh, it got crushed. <laughs> I, think, I think you should do something with that. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to go to the park today. The park? Before we leave. Why? I just... I just have... I had a weird, weird dream, and I don't know. I just want to see. Mm. Maybe there's something to it. Do you want us to that go with? Do you want? Pretty yeah, irrational, want but I guess it must be like a a mystic thing. Have fun. <laughs> I I don't I don't imagine it'll be anything. It was just a dream. But I'll I'll stay in touch on comms. All right, be back soon. We're planning to leave this evening. If the DM lets right. us. <laughs> no, you don't get to leave. It's salty. The sun no, explodes. That... No one leaves. No, no one that leaves. door is locked and you can't unlock it. <laughs> it has plot armor. Yeah, it's like I have a hundred percent. I have a one hundred lock picking, and it's like this door requires a key. It's well, like wait, you know wait, what, game. 
<laughs> for, for our audience, when we played Signal of Screams, they they got way farther ahead than they should have, and I was like, that door is locked. It has plot armor, because they wanted to uh, skip, like, half of the first book. Oh, we tried everything. I, uh, one of us tried everything. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yes, uh, Kaylin, uh, you take to the streets of uh, of Dawnshore, and it's really easy to get to to the park in question. Um, it seems to be a very unbusy day. There's only a few people, uh, but as you approach that uh, that area, the one that you saw in your dream, you see none other than oh, Michaela Tideweaver. Uh, standing in that spot, looking out into the sea of the sun. Huh. I'll, um... walk up to him. Okay. Hi! Uh, How's things? You, uh, you see he's leaning against a post with one leg drawn up and his arms crossed. Um, and as you approach, he, his, he doesn't doesn't even uh, turn his head to look at you, but you can sense that he knows that you're there. Like, you can feel his mind greet you, almost. Uh, but, but, then, but then he does, uh, he does uh, turn his eyes to look at you uh, so slowly it's almost imperceptible. And he says, hello, Kaylin. I had a feeling you'd show up here. You did. I, uh... I didn't know what I would... Find, but I didn't. Ex I didn't expect it to be you. Mm -hmm. Before you ask, I did have a dream. Yes. I did too. I watched the sun devour itself. He just kind of looks out into the, the fire again. And Kalen looks up in the same direction. You can feel I... something kind of tugging at the back of your head when you look where he's looking. Uh, it you can feel just a slight sense of dread, kind of like the same kind that the Lashenta and other telepathic races have explained and described, that, mm -hmm. but you've never felt it, but now you're starting to. I think something's coming. Something bad. He nods and he says, I don't tend to give dreams a lot of credit. Or, or meaning, but something about this one feels true. I, I can't quite explain it, but it's as though Mataris herself is trying to warn me, and maybe it's trying to warn you too. Perhaps. He kind of shrugs off the post, and he walks over to the railing and uh, places a hand on it, uh, pointing out into the fire. Uh, he closes one eye as if he's trying to point a bullseye at a very specific spot deep, deeper into the sun. Uh, in that moment, you can feel that strange sensation kind of well up and it becomes more defined. It's as though this extrasensory feeling emanates from where he's pointing. And he says, there, I can feel suffering, hopelessness. I think somebody needs help. And I have the strange sense that before long that will be the people of the archipelago we're gonna hopefully we can keep it from happening my my team and I were we're going there further in he nods uh, turning around um Again, you can you get this weird sense like he doesn't uh, have any external facing emotions. Uh, generally speaking, uh, he he's an empath. He experiences emotions differently. Uh, it's almost in completely internalized, and you can somehow feel what he's feeling because it's projected onto you. Um, and he feels concerned, but he also feels curious, uh, and he says this would be a situation where everything lined up the way it did for a reason. Maybe somebody's guiding you on your path. And his name is Seth! I mean... 
Um, uh, you you see me. You Sorry. see me. It was. You was see stupid. me lower into the bushes nearby, <laughs> like just kind of slowly <laughs> disappearing by into the leaves. With a, with a squeaky pulley system. Yeah. <laughs> Even like leaves stuck to your hat. <laughs> you got a hat with leaves. Here, I thought you were gonna say you see him sneak or lower into the sun itself. Just yeah. Like, just <laughs> oh, looking out of the sun. I oh, can see it right there. A hand, there. hand comes out, finger. Thumbs up. Um, this way. <laughs> Come into the sun. <laughs> Come into the sun. Um, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, um. Oh, character. Can do. Um, perhaps. I don't know what any of this means, but. Uh, he actually cracks a little bit of a smile and he says, I have a feeling you've got a handle on it, but it also <laughs> feels like I should stay here just in case. So you can count on me. Uh, I'll be here in the archipelago for, for a while at least. At least as long as it takes for us to get to our race. <laughs> I'll have to make it back then. He nods. And... I, I'm going to win one of these days, fair and square. Um, he doesn't have to say anything. Uh, again, your connection to him mentally seems a little bit stronger than it is for most people, so you can kind of feel his uh, smug attitude uh, brush up against your, your psyche, essentially. And he says, we'll see. Just project my own smug competitiveness right back at him. Right in his stupid face. <laughs> right uh, in his stupid face. So he, uh, he turns back to face the sun and uh, leans on the banister saying, and you hear inside of your head, uh, don't you have somewhere to be right now? I should get back. Good luck, Kayla. Thanks. Hopefully, hopefully things here remain at least status quo. I'll do what I can. She'll give him a smile and head back to the DCI. She'll shoot these guys a message that everything's fine and she's on her way back to. All right. So, with those arrangements out of the way, it, it appears that the day has arrived. This is this is the moment. Yeah! Anybody have anything they'd like to do before before I start advancing the plot? <laughs> advance the plot! Advance the plot! Advance the plot! Advance the plot! All right. So, uh, gathering your gear, your DCI provided jumpsuits and equipment. Uh, you go through the grueling process of staging and prep. Uh, technicians pour over checklists, supplies are loaded, operating procedures are reviewed. Um, I'm sure Ninden is having a wonderful time right now. Um, uh, eventually, Wait, you're all seated. <laughs> eventually, you're all seated in your positions aboard the Sun Diaper. Uh, the ship is. Uh, guided to a checkpoint at Don Shore's docks before you're given the clearance to depart. I actually set up a sound thing for this and I didn't use it like a door. We'll dork. walk towards the uh, towards the ship in slow motion with their helmets off, but all suited up. Helmets are tucked <laughs> under the arms, obviously. Oh yeah, totally. Indeed. Uh, or held casually in one hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're given clearance to depart and the ship uh, lifts off uh, on its guided path uh, via computer this is the part that Kaylin probably hates the most uh, she yep. doesn't really have to touch the controls at all uh, it starts to make Isn't its great? way <laughs> it starts to make its way out through the uh, tunnels, the very same ones that carried you here to the sun in the first place so for the first time since this adventure has began, uh, you are now leaving the archipelago and going out of the sun. Um, you pass by Sunrise Station, 
uh, the technicians uh, dialing in on a video signal and uh, bowing to you and offering a prayer, blessing your vessel. They're aware of your mission uh, due to your clearance logs and are fully in support of you uh, uh, heading out to explore the sun that they do adore so much. Um, which, let's see here. Uh, do Using the telemetry uh, from the data stolen from the brass dragons, you navigate the vessel around the surface of the sun, a uh, process that only takes maybe an hour or so, and uh, you line up with the entry angle that was predetermined. Uh, your monitor, uh, you monitor the surface of the sun, uh, the turbulent winds and tides of plasma roiling before you until the computer signals a clear window of entry. Does anyone have anything they would like to say before the sun diver embarks? Captain? I think we've got the perfect crew for this job. And I think we're all going to come out of it alive. I wouldn't Thanks for rather jinxing be any... us, Cap. <laughs> I wouldn't rather be any with anybody else on this mission. I trust you all. We don't really understand what's happening here, aside from uh, a few ominous hints and some malicious organizations. But I think that we're in the best position to prevent whatever it is f from happening. Take us in. All right. Yes, Kaylin, sir, you, Captain. You have the telemetry data, and you can uh, punch it in, and it will uh, start you on your course. Uh, it, it kind of like lines out on the HUD the path you need to follow. But uh, as you kick it on, the protocols engage. Uh, small orbiting shielding mechanisms releasing their electromagnetic seals and uh, beginning to slowly swirl around your ship. A blue field formed by the Sikatite inverters enveloping it, and a countdown begins. As it reaches zero, the ship's computer says, here we go, friends, before the ship engines thump, slowly uh, transitioning from a standstill from a controlled thrust. The ship follows the plotted course precisely, and you watch as the corona becomes ever larger in the view screen, until you cannot look around the sun anymore. Then, suddenly, there's a shake, and you feel the turbulence you felt before on your previous test runs. And just like that, your journey begins. That's where we'll stop for today. Woohoo! Uh, Yee! How exciting. So exciting! Ah, oh, we're going into the sun! For welcome, reals! Welcome back to the sun. But also, I would like to tell everyone, welcome to level six! Oh, Ding! Oh. How exciting. Ding, ding, That's ding. awesome. We never did yeah. have that discussion about what we got at level five, did we? Yeah, no, we, we did. Yeah, we did. did. We? Okay. We did. Very we briefly, did. I, I, I had people pick like one thing they wanted to share, you know, uh, uh -huh. but uh, I feel like that worked all right. So yeah, now you're level six. Woo! Yeah, we are. That's so cool. Yeah. Way so heckin' I cool. I hope everyone had a good time. Uh, as yeah. always, viewers, we hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> you guys, yeah. you guys went so bonkers with that combat before. That was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It was pretty great, yeah. All Ooh. right. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything, uh, any announcements wise. I haven't heard of shooting the crits running tonight. Do you know? Do I you know? do not know. Um, I know they've been yeah. like reworking the format. So they're they're trying to figure out uh, a way to do the show different. Yes. Um, let's see. As usual, Cosmic Crit coming out later tonight slash early tomorrow morning, uh, depending on uh, where you live. Um, yeah. Uh, I think also another announcement is that Tom is super definitely going to be here next week. Um, yep. Very definitely. important to note that Tom is going to be here next week. Because I, I, I wasn't here this week. So... Uh coming back next mm. week no 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 you were here this week you're, you're here right now and oh. you will be here next week oh, with yeah you're here okay and, and you'll okay. be here next week too got it yeah. 
as long as everybody's clear on that. Yeah, everybody, like, is a chat. I want to see some people in the chat indicate <laughs> that they know that Tom is going to be here next week. Yes, yes. Please acknowledge. Can I, can I get some confirms? Very <laughs> important. Can, can hashtag uh, Tom space will space be space here space next space week. With some claps in between, maybe. I think yeah, that's claps. What they do. put claps. Yeah. All right, we got two, we got two confirmations. Yeah, we that's got. Okay, good. that's that's enough. That's enough. That's good. Uh, yeah, in a court of law. Stop funny. confirming. Stop confirming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. I uh, hope you had a good time. Uh, 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 Numbat. Uh, I don't recognize your name. So if you're a new viewer and you had a good time, thank you for giving us a chance. Uh, I hope you had had fun. Would love to pick your brain about how you feel about the show. Feedback is always great as long as it's constructive. Um, yeah, hit us up on Discord. But uh, barring any major Discord. emergencies, uh, we will be here at the same time next week. Uh, until then, take care of yourself, everyone. Bye. Later. Bye.